The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. This episode of Good Times with Mo the Podcast is brought to you by Globe. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? We just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex, and more sex are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way. The Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. Welcome to the podcast. It is a Wednesday night, 27th of November, 2014. Good times and well, the podcast season two brought to you by Globe. Welcome again to the program. Uh, no Bianca yet. She'll be here in just a little bit, but no worries because we got a pretty good guest that I'd like to uh, introduce to you guys in just a few minutes. Phone number 478-7954 if you want to call us, get yourself on the show. You can Skype with us as well, the Good Times Podcast. Even text us 0927-214-1981. Uh, you know what? This is the first time where uh, we've had a guest on the sh- on the show, and you know, aside from like the pre show conversations that we enjoy with them, him, I, I I enjoy his conversation a lot because he knows a lot of stuff. He's all, he's interested in a lot of the things I'm interested in too. So, I mean, I don't even know if I've have we met Stephen in person, dude. We've never met before. <laughs> Fuck, we have. Uh, you know, I I know we've been in the same room together I've many seen, times yeah, because I've seen like you, I've seen the you music at, variety uh, shows at GMA and stuff, and I've seen you like yeah. on TV, but I've never met you. I've never gone up to you and said, "Hey, I'm Steve." Right, and right. Likewise, and 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 it's funny because when you get on, and this is your second time here, when you get on the podcast, the way we speak, we speak like we fucking been friends for fucking ever. I mean, and, I'll tell you, so and I've never awesome. even shook your head. So that's how I know you're a good guy. And to to make things even. Kind kind of to make them, uh, what to put a little spotlight more about how how we pre- we appreciate you being here, man. Today's your birthday and you're it's here, my man. I didn't even know that. Birthday right now, dude. Happy birthday, twenty seventh on the twenty seventh. Good stuff, I know. man. What do they call that? It's like the golden birthday or something when you turn. Do they? I don't know. I've never. Someone heard. told me about See? that earlier. They said See, it's special. You, Steven knows a lot of shit, man. I'm telling you. So there you go. Oh, right, that's never gonna happen to me because I'm fucking thirty six. <laughs> so those days are over. Um. But yeah, well, nevertheless, 27, man. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Thanks for taking Thanks the time DJ out Mo, still. Especially. Thank you for having me, dude. Cool. Um, we'll have Bianca uh, here in a little bit, but she's uh, running late. She's coming from an event. So just me and you, you know how it works, dude, right? We're just going to go sit here, yep. take these problems, and uh, give our two cents. Exactly. Let's so, try to help these people now, out. Now, now, before we get to that, what are you involved in now? Last time you were here, I think you were doing... Indio with uh, <laughs> with our friend Senator Bong. <laughs> That's right, with Senator right. Bong Revilla. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what what are you involved in right now? Okay, right now uh, I'm doing Sunday All Stars. Um, That's sure. the Sunday variety show on uh, GMA, and I'm right. also a part of the show Akin Parin and Bukas. But I'm really excited because we're starting a new show. Um, it's uh, we're actually doing our rehearsals. We're preparing for the show. It's the Kitchen Musical. It's uh, it's kind of like the the next season of the Kitchen Musical franchise. That kind of like what uh, Christian Bautista did Christian. before. Yeah. Like, yeah, right, right. So, uh, I think Carla, a good friend of ours, I think Caril she was, was there. involved in that. Carrill was there Carla, as well. Yeah. yeah, I've heard of her. Um, yeah, and, she's um, cool. She was been on the show. So yeah, so it's really exciting, man. Like, I mean, this is the first time I've ever done something like this. Like, this is like on the level of like Glee or whatever. So it's totally. really cool. I'm really excited for it. I mean, like, it's it's really like it's a combination of like all my interests. Like, I love to sing. I love to dance. I love to act. And I love to cook. If you didn't know that, DJ Mo, I love to cook. No, I, I didn't. Holy I ha- shit, I you're hold a total package, man. You lady I killer. have a culinary degree. You didn't know that? I went to culinary <laughs> no, school. No, yes, that's right. No, wait, I'm sorry. You were here last time, and 
uh, on the podcast, and we were talking about your culinary degree. That's right. It's no, crazy, no I, I, I just remember now. So, boy, you, yeah, you put all of that together. You got a superhuman here. Uh, I'm just trying. So, I'm trying my best. <laughs> that's right. No, fuck. I, forgot, I completely forgot about that. God, you got a lot of talents. Great, great, oh, great. Thanks, so man. Let, well, let's talk about the kitchen uh, all throughout the, the, the show. And okay. It's going to be called the Kitchen Musical again? Um, I think our, our name, the title right now we have is The Boston, The Kitchen Musical. Okay. Boston is actually the name of the restaurant uh, where we all work in. I'm one of the chefs gotcha. in the restaurant, so that's our restaurant name. Yeah, let, let's talk about it uh, throughout the program tonight because I'm, I'm interested in how these things are put together. I'm sure there's a ton of rehearsals when it comes to musicals and stuff. Man, I, I'm, I'm sure is. the the preparation's like brutal. But again, it let's is, get yeah. into it. All right, uh, in in a few minutes, let's uh, let's take some calls though early off here. Let's start with let's go with Vanya, who's 19 years old. She's in Makati. She's on line two. Hi, Vanya. Welcome to the program. How can we help you? This is your St- Stephen Silva. By the way, you guys can follow Stephen on uh, Twitter. I am Stephen Silva, and it is spelled, obviously, right with there. a V, not like uh, Steph Curry's uh, type of Stephen. But, <laughs> That's yeah, Stephen. So, That's not Stephen. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Stephen Silva is here. Go. Vanya, what's up? Line two. Hi. Hello, Mo. Hi, Vanya. What's up, Vanya? So I have this boyfriend, and we've been together for almost two years. Uh, or sure. I mean, I mean, a year and a half. Whatever. And he hates using condoms. So the problem is, every time we do it, I get so paranoid because, of course, I'm young and you I don't want to get pregnant yet. So what should I do? Well, there's two things here that you have to always know. Number one, you're the one with the vagina, meaning you're the one with the power. Like, see, you don't have to have a dick in you, but he needs to put that dick somewhere. And that makes you in a power position. It's like, let's go back to Steven's thing. I'm hungry. Guess who's the cook here? Steven. Right. So who's in the power position? The cook. My hunger or his ability? It's Steven. Uh, right? He's got a point. Steve, how many fucking hungry faces do you see out there? And you go, <laughs> that's right, bitches. <laughs> you know? Woo. So... That dick is hungry, and your vagina is a roast beef sandwich, and he can't do anything about oh it until God. you allow him to have it. I love the analogy. Because, well, you're welcome. It's, just, it's, it's timely. Um, so if you don't let him eat, he just sits there and starves and dies and is miserable. So he cannot dictate what the terms are going to be when you have the pussy. Yeah, exactly. Steven, yes? I mean, isn't that the well, easiest thing? Let me check real quick. Vanya, how old are, how old are you again? 19. 19. Yeah, 19. I mean, you could tell him, like, you know, you need to calm down a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So if you get nothing. It's either you put a I mean, hat on that dick or you get zero. Especially, I mean, if, if you don't want it, like, you know, if he's doing something you don't want, like, in terms of, like, using a condom and not, I mean, like, you ha- like, like Mo just said, you have the roast beef sandwich. You don't have to feed him. <laughs> I just I like that analogy. That's such a funny analogy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then there's number two. If you really want to kind of knock you know all of this out e- easily, then you have birth control pills, which is the way to go. The reason why I don't bring that as up as number one because it's obviously the easy solution is I don't want you to be in a situation where you don't want to do something and he continues to do it and you sit there and you're paranoid and he's not even responsible enough to think about the consequences. So that. That's why that worry takes over to – we could have easily said birth control pills right off the bat, right? And all of the problems will be solved. He gets the fuck you without a condom. You, you don't get to you – know, you're not going to be pregnant and everyone's happy. But I worry that you – because you allow him to do it and you clearly are terrified and paranoid that – you know, you've you've put you've spoiled him, and he's in this he's in this kind of frame of mind where he can do anything he wants with you. That's that's more my worry. Though yeah. pregnancy is pretty shitty too at the same time. But when you're 19, so um, two things, Vanya. Number one, get yourself back into a power position. Realize that you are in fact very important in this relationship, and what you say goes in terms of uh, in this issue regarding sex. And then number two. If you like it also without condoms, birth control pills, your Diane 35s, your Yasmin's and whatnot, those are really safe just as long as you take them responsibly and on time. 
And yeah. go to, you don't even have to go to your gynecologist to get some, but I suggest you do, just because, you know, it's, it's a little it, bit better. Can I ask another question? Will? Sure. Yeah. Um, because he always wants me on top, and what, a guy friend once told me that if the, if, the, um, if the girl is on top, the boy wouldn't be aware if, if um, he's, like, coming already. Oh, I I'll think tell that's, you that's BS. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's yeah. just an old wives' tale. If it, yeah. if he's putting something in you, there's always a chance. You can't. It doesn't matter the angle or like you know what day. No, it no, is. no, 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 no. What she, I, I think. Okay, was, get, correct me if I'm wrong. I think what she's saying is, if the girl is on top, the guy doesn't know when he's coming, so it's more dangerous for them to have sex because okay. they're having unprotected sex. Well, uh, that's I'm also just, not true. Uh, a guy doesn't know. The guy knows when he's about to come, but he, I don't think he. And what Steve, Stephen is saying here, and I completely agree. I think what you're trying to say, brother, is it doesn't matter what position you're in. Yeah, like if he's going in, like you're already putting yourself at risk. So that's what I, that's what I'm saying. Like you have to be careful. Like yeah, if he's like going from the top, behind, or whatever, like it's that, that's the risk has already been like started right there. So definitely, definitely. Even if you guys are dry humping. Like without well, obviously naked dry humping. Like you know how when you're just even if you're just rubbing your, your 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 vagina on his penis, and a little bit of it comes out around that area, there's still a risk of getting pregnant. I mean, it's, it's those sperm, man. Don't underestimate that shit, man. Those are powerful they, bitches. They're fighters, man. They fight. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> they're swimmers. <laughs> That's right. Those are like a Michael. Yeah. Phelps. So you gotta you have to always assume you are gonna get pregnant. Every single time you have unprotected, uh, unprotected sex, Vanya. It's really that important. Yeah. And uh, you will do not at all from this moment on ever do it again without protection. At 19, fucking no way. Yeah. Thank you, Mo. I am serious, Vanya. Do not let this guy dictate, especially yeah, yeah. in these terms. I mean, if he wants, if you guys are going to the movies, and you're like, I want to watch About Time. And he's like, fuck that, bitch. We're watching, uh, you know, give me, give me a movie out right now. Uh, we're watching fucking Hummer, Hunger whatever, Games. Fast and Furious 7. I don't give a <laughs> And you're like, babe, that's a car movie. I don't give a shit. And they're like, okay, fine. Let him decide. Who cares? But when it comes to something this important, no way. Okay. Yeah. Are you open to taking birth control pills? Um, yeah. Do it. Do it. Okay. Or break up with this guy and then do it with the next. Like, I don't like this guy at all. Anyway, <laughs> that's right? another option. But to be honest, the girl on top position is pretty badass. I like that position. I, I, at least I can agree with him on that one. You get to see the girl naked. And she's got bouncing on top of you. You, you got big boobs, Vanya. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. She answered pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. No wonder. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, baby. Thank Thanks, you. Vanya. Thank you so much. Good Mom. luck. All right. Good luck. Bye bye. <sighs> I, listen, guys, I'm not a hypocrite. I mean, I yes, I know I've gotten two girls pregnant in my time, but <laughs> it wasn't my fault. <laughs> Damn sperm. <laughs> Damn sperm. Fucking <laughs> swimmers. Like, fuck, that's what I said, right? Like Shit. Michael Phelps up in there is swimming. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I may be small, but I'm telling you, fucking sperm is strong. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's go to... Let's go to line uh, six and talk to Carol, who's also fairly young. Carol, you're 22 years old in Manila. Hi, Carol. Hi. What's up, baby? This here is Steven Silva. He's awesome. Hey, Carol. How's cooks. it going? Hello. Hi, I'm okay. All right. What's up? What's going on? Um, um, I'm, actually, uh, I'm, I'm actually engaged with my uh, long-time boyfriend, who is actually on, in Canada. Oh, congrats. And then, um, since he's not here, so, you know, some girls have needs, right? Uh -oh. And to satisfy sure. that kind of need, so I have to look for another guy. But, <laughs> and, oh, no. you know, a secret, you know, uh, someone would just oh. walk with me. You should meet, or, you should meet up you know, with, the, with the guy, boyfriend of first caller. Maybe you guys get along fine. Um, okay, sorry, sorry. I couldn't but I don't want to cheat, actually. I really don't want to cheat, but... Sure. You know what? If I, I I get another guy, who will just satisfy my needs. But you know, what if he will just, you know, he's a wrong guy, or should I cheat, or should I do that, in order just to satisfy my needs? You know. <clears throat> Stephen, why don't you go ahead? Okay, I mean, okay. Well, I mean, obviously, I mean, you stated the fact that uh, 
He's your fiance, right? The guy that's in Canada. You guys yeah. are. You guys are. So that means you guys are getting ready to get married. Yeah. When are you right? getting? Yeah, married? When are you guys getting married? What? what? When? When, when are, are you guys you getting? getting when are you guys planning to get married? Anytime soon. Two thousand fifteen, actually. Two thousand fifteen. So I still have a year. Oh, more than a year. Yeah, that's, okay. a, that's, a, that's, well, a, I mean, that's a roast beef sandwich that needs to be eaten. <laughs> it's going to spoil if you wait till 2015, Stephen. <laughs> well, I mean, like, the thing right. is, like, let's just get down to the facts. I mean, I'm guessing he, there's a ring on your finger right now, right? He put okay. a ring on it, didn't he? You have a ring on your finger. Yes, Carol? Yeah, hello, hello, yes. Yeah, hello. Yeah, sorry, I think she, she's on cell phone. Okay, so that's car cutting off. So you are engaged. You have a ring on your finger. It reminds yeah. you that, of this commitment that you've made. I mean, we all get. How I mean, often? Do, okay, okay, hold on. I, I got. I got to follow. How right, often do you see him? I, I know he's in Canada, but does he does he come home for holidays? Does he your your fiance? Does he come home for holidays? Do you go there to visit yes, for summer? Uh, uh, no, um, he just visited the last uh, June, July. Oh boy, imagine how, how much sex they had, Stephen. Okay, <laughs> so uh, have you taken the steps to look for a guy? Have you met someone that you're interested in having a sexual kind of setup with no commitments because you're, you're going to get married? Have you already started the look? Actually, I started looking for people nearby. Uh, you know, in the WeChat, there is an application. Okay, uh, the WeChat, yeah, the app. Right. Yeah, they have that app for that? that uh, <laughs> yeah. So if you look at their photos and then their profiles there, um, you will see if they are student or or how old are they. And then, sure. And then once that, uh, they got interested with me, we'll chat. And then suddenly we'll uh, what do you call this? Um, we'll go on have you meet. met up with them? Uh, Sorry, uh, have you met up with them and had sex with them? Actually, I'm planning to, okay, but gotcha. I'm still, you know, I know, you know, I'm, I'm afraid that that guy would, you know, uh, set up a video cam or once I hook up, that guy is a. He's and tell you know that those guys are. Yeah, yeah. You know there are guys um, like that. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. There, there are dangers. Uh, listen, uh, Carol, if you're gonna start banging strangers, th there are always risks and consequences. Like, I, to be honest, I'd rather you just bang a coworker, or bang a friend of yours, or actually, you know what? Be honest, like. Steven, What's myself, up? what do you think, Steve? If, if this girl comes up to you and says, Steven, listen, and let's say she's, she's good looking. Okay. I, I have a fiance. He's in Canada. And uh, we're getting married in fucking year and a half. And I don't see him. I really just want to bone somebody. Is that cool with you? I would say yes. I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'd probably I mean, say yes. But, <laughs> but you have to you think see? about it. But I mean, like in the back of the mind, it's like, I mean, in her situation, would. What if she's uh, the sh maybe she'd cross her mind that maybe the same thing might happen to your fiance, like he gets oh, the same absolutely. situation. I mean, he's no, no. My point here, Stephen, is as gi as advice givers, we're telling you don't do this, Carol, oh, yeah. because it's bad. However, as men, I'm telling you, you don't have to go to a WeChat and bone strangers. You can actually go to someone rather trustworthy. I mean, look at Stephen. Does Stephen look like he's going to set up a camera? Of course not. Steven looks like a great guy. But he just said right now he would fuck you if you wanted to. And I would too. And most guys would. So the point of that whole well, the point I'm trying to make is instead of looking for people you've never you don't even know and exactly. you don't know what kind of fucking history they have, even medically, criminally, you know, whatever, why not go to the guy that you work with that you kind of marginally like and go, hey, by the way, excuse me, uh, Steven or Mo, I mean, uh, listen, can, can I talk to you a little bit? Okay, come on. Listen, you know, you know I'm getting married, right? We see this ring and all that, yeah. but it's not till 2015. And my pussy's getting itchy. Do you mind if we, uh, do you mind if I give you a BJ real quick? That guy's like, sure. Okay, I'm not going to turn that no down. No hesitation. Yeah, no problem. 
And then all of a sudden, you know this guy. You know, you, you tell him, hey, don't tell anybody, okay? Because, you know, I'm just, he's going to be like, I'm not telling anybody. If I'm going to get a fucking blowjob out of this, trust me, my lips are shit. My, if your lips are open, my lips are shut. And I'm That's talking about your goes. badge. That's how it goes. So you will have an easier time looking for someone that might not kill you or record you or do any of that crazy shit, Carol. That's if we are agreeing to your plan. But I think your plan is fucking awful. I think you should masturbate. I think you should get a fucking vibrator. I think you can watch porn all day long if you want to. And cheating on your fiance is an awful idea because you, yes. it just shows that you're not ready to get married. Exactly. There's alternatives. You gotta, I think you're not searching hard enough. Mm. You know what I mean? You're not, re- you're not ready to get married, Karen. That's you're 22. a commitment. That's, so, that's crazy young. Steven, you're 27. Are you, are you ready to get married? No, not don't yet. get married. Not yet. Not yet. Actually, he is kind of older than me. How ah, much older? That, is he like Freddie yeah. Aguilar old? I mean, the reason why he wants to get married. <laughs> nah, because he's dying. <laughs> yeah. No, it's the last no. chance. It's the last chance. He's 27, actually. Oh, oh okay. Jesus. Oh, I'm 27. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, don't, Carol, don't get married. Don't do it. You can have a long distance relationship. Fine. Do not get married. That's my advice. But obviously, you've already said yes. So I don't know how you feel about breaking that off. Don't bang strangers. And if you are going to fuck someone, let's say just in case you don't listen to our advice and you really need to fuck somebody, please tweet Steven <laughs> or find someone at work or, you know, like someone you kind of know, a childhood friend, whatever, man. And I'll tell you, 95% of guys that you offered this to, they're going to take it. They'll say, sure. Yeah, come on over. Or I'll come over to your house. Whatever. Doesn't matter to me. It's crazy. It's like free it's samples. It's that easy. Yeah, it's you that easy. You don't even want easy. it, but it's free. Just take it. That's if right. I may. <laughs> hold on. Time hi, on guys. Time. Hi, Bianca. Hold on a second. Bianca. See, that's a great analogy. That's a great analogy. Fucking A, you're inside, you're, you're inside SNR. There's exactly. some free samples of food there. I'm not that hungry, but it's free. I'm not that hungry, but it's free. Exactly. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. Grab that shit. Girl, That's right. masturbate the fuck out. Like, I'm serious. You, you just really, honestly, if you just know how to masturbate and know how to, you know, give pleasure to yourself, you don't need any of that. You don't now, need Bianca, valid- is that really true? Because, hold no, on, here's, what, here's my argument. You, because... Obviously, like we masturbate. We masturbate. Oh, we just lost her. Can you get her back, oh, guys? Man. We masturbate. No, we lost her a long right. time ago. <laughs> we just got her. We just lost her off the line. Yeah. Uh, just trust me. I want her personal. I, I'm here in the U.S. I want her personal number. Uh, <laughs> is it really true, Bianca, the whole match? Because we masturbate. Like, guys masturbate, too. Right. right. Obviously, we, get, but we probably masturbate more than you do. you've already even, uh, well, what's the word, educated us here in the podcast that men are built, are built different from women. I mean... I, I mean, I can swear on God to this. I, I don't do casual sex. And the reason why I can uphold that, 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 I mean, I've done mistakes maybe in my younger days, but as of recent years, no, many, 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 many years, I just don't. Why? Because I masturbate. I, I don't, yeah, I I don't okay, look for listen, it elsewhere. I, I know masturbate's great because like for guys, masturbating is cool too because we get to come and coming is fun. Yeah. But at the same time. Of course you want a girl. Well, coming is fun. Yeah. yeah, the warmth of like, you, you know, your hands on it. the nice okay, pair of boobs but then, and the smacking that ass. And, you, you have a point. Like, but see, the thing with guys, and especially in, in a society like the Philippines or in the world, it's very double standard. If a guy, he gets off, he fucks a girl, for guys, for, for people, it's like, oh, that's expected of guys. He's a dude. Or you're so cool. But if it's a girl who's like, God, I'm so horny. I just need to. Can I call in a friend? <laughs> We're whores. So for me, why no, will I sacrifice not, my reputation? No, you're talking about your image, though. We're talking about needs. Remember, the reason she called because she had physical needs. I understand. Needs. I have physical needs. I love to come, too. But the question is, is it more important <laughs> Then in her case, her safety is it more important? Let's see. Well, that's than your why morals. I said but, okay. But see, that's listen. If she goes up to Stephen, and if she goes up to me, even if she goes up to us both, okay. like say she came to the studio and we were me and Stephen were just sitting there, or Stephen and I, sorry. And yeah. she walks in and she goes, guys, listen, 
I got a problem. My fucking old ass boyfriend. By the way, we're older than he is. My old ass yeah. boyfriend is in is in Canada, and I need to have sex. Uh, what do you say? The both of you, not in a threesome, because I know you probably don't want to say another dick, Mo, but mm. do you mind, Steven, if I fuck you now and then Mo, I'll fuck you tomorrow? God. But please don't say anybody anything about it, and please don't think I'm a whore. You know, we, at least I, I'll speak for myself. I'd be like, all right, hey, Steven, give me a text when you're done. I'll, I'll head over there tomorrow. Yeah, you remember what you, just... you said on the podcast last night? You know, Steven, I'm I won't even hi, think nice she's to a meet you. I'm nice Bianca. You, Bianca. Hi. Yeah, yeah, by the way, he, he, this guy, Steven, is awesome. I, I, I completely endorse this dude, man. He's fucking badass. Um, All right, anyway, you were saying. No, uh, Stephen, Mo was saying last night on the okay. podcast, and you know, and you have to admit, it will scare a lot of girls in this world, but Mo did say something that, you know, the truth hurts, but it is a reality. And, and it struck a chord with me, but anyway, he said... You know, all men, if they had the chance to fuck anyone or cheat or whatever, they'll do it. They will do it with anyone, anytime, and with anyone that they can. Within reason. However, yeah. Yes, within reason. Aman. <laughs> However, the only thing that stops them from doing it is character. That's mm. what gave me comfort. So I'm applying that because you're asking me a question. I would love to have sex many times in a day or in a month or in a year but what stops me from 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 fulfilling that physical desire is is it worth the inconvenience of being called a whore or i yeah. might get an std or i yeah, might get I completely caught. agree with you yeah i completely agree but see here's the thing about guys and oh, and steven man. again i i revert to steven because he's a guy and, and i want do to you agree with me i know i was just laughing because i was reminded of a funny story that happened like a few weeks ago <laughs> oh you gotta tell us well hold on let me, let me finish and you gotta tell us a story. i can't drop take names but i'll just tell you a funny story no worries happened. no worries okay but here's my thing real quick and then you gotta tell us a story okay Okay, when I say the thing that stops a guy from cheating on his girlfriend, like every, every guy wants to cheat on the girlfriend, right, Steve? I mean, not, not every, because I, I mean, when I'm in love, I'm in love. But the reason More why guys, often than not. The reason why guys, yeah. not, not, the reason why all guys don't cheat is because the thing that stops them from having a variety of pussy is character. However, I think character, most and I think guys, also being content. I love so, that. Yeah, totally. If something totally. is something. Yeah. I love if that. If something yeah, is that. missing, you're going to yes. go looking for it. Yeah. Right. If all right. You're not I'll, missing I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah. I'll give you that. But I see the character but, too. That depends on the but, person. But my thing is this. As a guy though, if you're single and a female comes to you with this specific dilemma, okay. which is I had sexual needs. My boyfriend is 14,000 miles away. Do you mind I blow you real quick because I just really would like to kind of know what that feels like on my mouth again. I think it's still within character to go, sure. Character for the guy or the girl? Yeah, for the guy. Okay. Even though, because we're single. Now, you're taken. You're going to get married. But I'll let you, fuck, fine. I'll let you give me a blowjob. That's fine. I, 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 that's cool. I, 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 can, I can understand that. I think it kind of goes back to the first caller. It's like, it's like this is the switching of the power. In the first situation, the girl had the power. I think now sure. it's like the guy has the power now, because the girl's like yeah, going right, after. Right. It's like you know, yes. Like, the early, right, but the I don't think it's. Yeah. But at the same but, time, but it's still a that... character flaw for us to say yes, knowing that she's getting married. But is right? it also fair to say I'm thinking if a girl is that desperate, she must have been around. I don't want to get with that. Yeah, Fuck. Like, of course like, not. Gross, like gross, like you were like saying, I don't, I don't think she and, uh, needs that. to be getting married if that's what's on her mind. Yeah, yeah no, no, she, she doesn't. But, but uh, STDs, that's the least we're talking about. I mean, this girl comes up to me and says, hey, listen, do you mind if I, like, you know, can you, can you just bang me once, please? Sure. <laughs> come, come on, listen. Bianca, you you are being a no, a contestant listen, number one. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Please, Bianca, you're forgetting that a great majority of guys go to these spas where they're banging, <clears throat> excuse me, they're happy endings and, and, and yeah. bull jobs and bang. And, and you're worried about gonorrhea? <laughs> I'm just saying. It happens. No, I'm just saying, guys, they don't care It's about a risk shit. they take, right? It's a risk they take, but it's not one of those things that, oh, my God, like every Again, girl that comes up to us wants to fuck us. Again, and that's why it goes back to priorities. How important is it to you that you're willing to take a risk for whatever no. kind of risk it no, is? No, no, no. Right? They don't even look at us. No. We're, we're talking to this girl. This girl, yeah. she's going online to meet strangers to bone. There is risk there. And I'm telling this girl, if you're going to do it. There are a lot of people out there. Like, there's, I'm just telling this girl, listen. 
I don't think you should do it because you're getting married. A, I don't think you should be getting married. B, don't do it because you're getting married. And C, if you are going to do it, don't fucking do it on WeChat. Go exactly. find go find a fucking friend don't use at an work. App. Or, 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 or in your subdivision. You yeah, it's an app. Para grinder. And, but and for, there, I guess for has street there people, been, I don't know. Okay, I don't know in the I'm history guessing. of the world, has there ever been a hot chick on WeChat trying to look to bone? Is there been an, a stand-up guy on WeChat looking for some pussy? Of course not. I don't think so. The odds are pretty low. S- yeah, the scary people are there. <laughs> so, Carol, don't go there. Okay, love? I mean that guy. Yeah. Um, well, what's that? That right, killer? Babe. Not Facebook. I'm so sorry. What's it called? Well, yeah, but but again, we can't. Obviously, we can't. We can't single out every single one and say that that's going to happen. I mean, there's still a great majority of people that go online and fuck. Yeah. I mean, really, there's like fucking millions. Craigslist. Of but there what you I'm go. saying oh, is that's like, horrible. listen, Craigslist. It, it, no good people are doing that. They're all kind of scary individuals. All right, Stephen, your story, and we got to get out of here. Oh, the story. A just, this happened a while back. It's like one of my friends. We were like on a road trip, and he's like one of these guys, like. Uh, he kind of gets around, you know, like, you know, he takes the opportunity, like we're saying, like, with that character and whatnot. So he's like, you know, he's doing girls or whatever. And um, even, like, we were hanging out and, like, I guess we were, we were sleeping together in a hotel room and he brings this girl back. And I'm like, you know, like, I, I'm like, okay, I wake up in the middle of the night and he's like, oh, what the hell's going on? He has a girl. Next day, out of nowhere, <laughs> it's so random. We're sitting there, like, in the car. We're going back. And he looks at me and he gives me this serious look and he's like, do you think I might have an STD? <laughs> awesome. And I started laughing in his face. I was like, I don't know. Do you? <laughs> I mean, like, you know, it just kind of goes to show you, like, you know, if you don't keep control of your shit, like, shit like that didn't happen. So, like, you know what? I got, I, and like, I it's, like it's like, if it did happen, it's kind of like, it would get back at you, you know, because like, if you don't take control of that shit and you just, Go exactly wildly. and it makes you think it, was it so fucking worth it it was just so funny because like yeah. he was so serious and he looked at me and he's like he's like i do you think i have an std dude and i was like i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i really don't know <laughs> and you I, about I, your dick I, and i'm gonna examine this thing i was cracking up when he said it because i didn't expect it like it was just like you know, it was just a quiet <laughs> moment in the in the ride and all of a sudden he looks at me and he's like you know, we were just talking, and it's like, yeah, he's reminiscing, I guess. And he's like, I, dude, I think I might have an STD. And I, I don't like, think the word I, is I, reminiscing. I, yeah, like, re- like, like regretting recalling, is recalling, more like recalling. regretting, yeah. I, I went yeah. to the same thing. Uh, the, it was with, a, you know, my best, well, it used to be my best friend, Casey Montero. Uh, we were in Hong Kong, and uh, we were at, fuck, we were at, you know, one of these chain restaurants. Um, we were at Thailand Hollywood. That's right. Thailand okay. Hollywood in, in Hong Kong. So, oh, just in Hong Kong. Um, and you know, we we're such pals. Like he, tr- he treated me on this. Like we do these things where we, you know, we buy shit for each other. Stuff. So he said, oh. "Hey, I'll take it to Hong Kong. Let's go. Let's hang out." I'm like, "All right, cool." So he g- gave me a flight, hotel. Oh, we share. Obviously, we shared the same room because we're dudes. But you know, two separate beds as we should. And um, we're we're in the, we're there at Planet Hollywood. And then this waitress comes by and she's like, "Hey guys, what's up?" And we're like, "Hey, we're from the Philippines." And and you know how in Planet Hollywood it tells you what country you're from. So her name was something from Thailand. I forgot what her name was. But she was, she was really good looking. So I was like, man, Casey, she's really hot. Yeah, yeah, let's go kind of like flirt with her and, and ask for her number and stuff like that. So we did all of that stuff. And then uh, he w- because I don't drink, he's like, I'm going to go out drinking at the bar. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go back to the hotel room because I'm going to read. And that's what I do. So I was reading. And what? It came a- yeah, I'm <laughs> crazy, right? So okay. I came across an article that, had, that said Thai people – it was some crazy, stupid article. Like Thai people are like fifty percent chance if you meet a stranger who's Thai that they have HIV. So I was like, oh, just like that girl. What a coincidence! Did you say fifty percent? Yeah, but it was some stupid, wild like website. You know, it was just one of those things. Like it just kind of was impl. Obviously, I knew it was dumb because you know I'm an intelligent guy. But I was like, yeah, this is fucking funny. Wow, it's so funny because we 50%. just met that girl from Thailand, uh-huh. right? But I think what they're talking about is maybe sex workers and stuff like that. Okay, but okay. anyway, regardless, she was a waitress at a, at a plan in Hollywood. All right. So anyway, I'm at the hotel, right? I'm in the room reading on the internet. Casey's out fucking drinking at a at a strip club, like, you know, a titty bar. And Yay. he's like, hey, you got to come over to this titty bar, man. There's tits here. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm just going to sit here. And I was, I was reading about fucking airplanes. And the doorbell. Uh, you, you know, the, turned the hotel. me on so yeah. bad, Mo. I remember I was reading about the, yeah, the Piper Cub J3, airplanes. the yellow one. That's a uh, fucking great plane. Anyway, I remember exactly this moment. So I'm sitting there reading about the Piper, J, uh, Piper Cub J3. And the doorbell on, on the hotel room. And it's the girl. It, she, she fucking came up oh. and she was like hey listen you know do you mind if i kind of hang out with you here i'm like 
I just read the fifty percent fucking AIDS thing, so I was like, oh, "Fuck!" No. I'm like, "All right, come over, come over here, right?" She's like, so "Poison she, man." <laughs> she comes over, right? And I'm lying. Is this in bed, for she's real? Like, this is real. Wait, this how did she find you? Yeah, how did she find you? How did she find your room? No, no, no. Because Casey gave all of that information to oh, her. Okay. Oh, okay. Was like, but Casey me, wasn't really... there when she came by. No, she wasn't Ooh. there. But she was like, "Hey, listen, can I lie down with you in your bed?" And I'm like, "Oh, fuck, man." Uh, I'm like, "Hey, did I'm, I'm just about to pay her to do this, or she?" Told no, Casey, no, no, no. I like your friend. Casey's no, she wanted. Friend. I think she wanted to have a threesome. So listen, listen. Just let me finish the fucking story. Right, sorry. So yeah. she comes into the room, and she's like, "Can I lie down next to you?" I'm like, "What am I gonna say? No." So I'm like, "Okay, sure." So she lies down, and and I then go, "Hey, listen, I'm gonna go to sleep." <laughs> you know, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to not to fuck this girl because of the fifty percent thing. You should right? just told her you need to read some more magazines. The, the your, your magazine. so, 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 so she lies down next to me, right? And then you know. She's her, she has her arm around me, like my body. And I'm like, sleeping. And then here comes Casey. <laughs> this is awesome. So Kate, maybe like 30 minutes goes by. Nothing's happening. She's just lying down. I'm sure she's thinking, what the fuck is going on here? I'm supposed to get boned here. Um, here comes Casey. Ding dong. Casey comes in. Hey, dude. I'm like, hey, hey the Thai girl is here. And he's like, oh, hey, what's up? And then she, she goes, okay. So I'm like, hey, I'm going to go to sleep, guys. So I, I'm pretending to sleep. Casey gets on his bed. The girl switches to his bed. Uh-huh. And then they're making out. And I said, Casey, me na basa ako na. True fucking story. I said, Casey, me na basa ako kanina lang. And his Tagalog's bad and my Tagalog's bad. But you know, mine's good enough. Yeah. Me na basa ako na kanina sa, sa, dito sa, sa website na to na 50% down ng mga katulad niya, yung lahi niya, lahat sila may HIV. <laughs> Kaya hindi mo, you know what I mean? I said, you like, still said HIV. Obviously, oh. she understood that. Yeah, well, you know, Maybe. it's difficult because I'm saying it so fast in Filipino. Yeah. And he's making out with this girl and all that stuff. And I'm, and it's just funny because she's probably like, look at this fucking loser who didn't want to do anything to me. I'm going to go up to this guy. He's better looking anyway. So he, she's making out with Casey. And I say this thing. And then Casey goes, fuck. I go, what? All right, let's go. Let's go. Go home. Time to go home. <laughs> Makes her oh. leave, dude. Because of the stupid HIV comment. It was awesome. It, it, 50% man that's 50% yeah which is wild what is that like some sort of like <laughs> dude I just needed the 1% and I yeah, would, what a yeah. crazy stat uh-huh. I came up with and he ends up not fucking her too so she probably is like what the hell I just spent an hour and a half these guys are lying gay. down with these dudes <laughs> hugging we gotta so take a break. now when he thinks back. that well sorry what he knows are gay <laughs> Yeah, no, and, and that's what I was telling him. Like, some of them are men with sex changes. Like, I, I mean, it was really, like, the stats were kind of crazy. I hear some wild stuff, too. No, that's why she know. must be thinking now, hmm, I wonder, 50% of Filipinos are fucking gay. <laughs> It was awesome. And it was just so funny because we were so into this girl when we were ordering food. And then when we had her for the kill in the hotel room, we both pushed out because of a fucking blog. Take a break. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Means I may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malay na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. 
For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you've downloaded the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. Take a little sunshine. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show here. It is a Wednesday night. Oh, by the way, may I add here, Bianca, yeah. today is Stephen's birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah. Birthday. No. Uh, is that why there's pizza here? You gotta get that girl Carol to, to give him a blow of his candles. <laughs> You got to get that girl, Carol, who called in who's looking for a guy to blow his candles. You know? Just tell her it's my birthday. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Dude, by the way, Pico uh, looked her up, as we all do. Every single... I'll tell you this, Stephen, about our show. Every time Pico, are you going to Skype with her? Our staff just mm-hmm. looks them up to see if they're hot. And sometimes we've hit some fucking home runs. I mean, there have been times uh-huh. where there are girls here that are lights out. Like hot, right, Bianca? Okay, the last and the one best girl thing that Pico Woo. did, you know, what Pico is so dedicated to his job, yeah, I can see which that. that's why I I really love him. I have so much respect for his, you know, professional integrity. <laughs> so like what he does, just to follow up to make sure our sponsors are happy. Like so, there's one girl caller of the night. No, hindi pa siya caller of the night. Mm. We totally Wait, forgot. Hold on. We gotta tell him what happens. What happens okay. is caller of the night gets like an iPad or or whatever like really cool gift uh, at times. You know, you know if they. They win, they, they, they win a, a big time prize. Yeah. And uh, fucking um, uh, Pico here. And the girl who sure calls like super pretty. Okay. Super yeah, so pretty. Wait, no, no. Her question was all right. I mean, it had to do with like yeah. her boyfriend, like, I don't know, fucking jizzing on her face or something, yeah. whatever. It's like something she's uncomfortable with. Okay. And Pico goes out and just unilaterally on his own ordains her as caller of the night so he can hand the iPad to her. Oh, when she and picks it here's up. my oh, favorite oh, part. My favorite part going is... Going above and beyond. Okay, exactly. Because right. usually they just text them to inform them or we do it on air, uh-huh. right? But we forgot to yeah. do it on air. And he just took initiative. That's what you call initiative. To exactly. uh, message the girl. And then Get he goes, um, you know, can you Skype with me? Because we really need to take yes, um, you know, a Skype. screenshot. <laughs> Of the reaction nice. of um, yeah, our winner. He's making shit up so he can converse with Pico. this. But the girl, was, the girl was hot, though, man. Boy, she hot. Well, that one last Good week, man. Pico, that was, a, that was a great choice. She looked oh like she looked like Bianca, but she was like 22. No offense, Bianca. I mean, it's not, like, you, you look great yeah, still. It's not an yeah. age, but you, you're 35. Oh, this girl looked like a 22-year-old Bianca. Dude. She was oh, she was hot as fuck, man. Oh, Jeez. God. No, and, but on another note, like, Pico is a sweetheart. For everyone mm. watching here right now, Pico is the sweetest guy you guys will ever yeah, meet. Yeah, whatever. You and that is Twitter, how you get his all dick the hot in your chicks, pants. All the Sweet hot chicks like that have Kit called Kat. the program. Oh, yeah. He just Booyah! gives all the hot chicks. All, all the hot chicks that have called the program, if you look at Pico's Twitter, he just tweets them all night long, dude. He's like, hey, listen, you know, you, when That's you call back, game. click on the episode. Yeah. It's oh, fucking man. asshole, dude. Got the game all right, anyway, so that last life. girl, Carol, the Carol who was what? looking for dick, the one on the weed chanting, Yeah. she's not hot. She, but she is, she's, she's all right looking, man. She's kind of cute. Now, yesterday, Pico, there was a girl that called, had a sex question, and she had like a wild sex question. And Pico's like, Mo, this girl's super hot. And you, you, and I said, okay, follow her on Twitter so I can see if she's really hot. God, she was ugly, Pico. You <laughs> fucked up, man. She was not her, good looking at all. Because her profile picture was nice, and it was private, so I didn't know. Yeah, well, no, uh, no. Yeah, it's okay, defending shades his taste. So that's not, yeah, no, valid. No. This girl, though, this last one here, not, she's not bad. Like, this Carol one who's looking for a random like, online dick, I would totally fuck this girl, sincerely. 
All right. Anyway, Pico, which means you should fuck this girl because you, you like I live vicariously through your small penis. Yeah, I will. Hold on. Um, let's what go to Eric. Eric. <laughs> Eric. Love it. On. Uh, I don't think Pico heard love that one. it. Yeah. Yeah, he's RG3. That three part is really the one oh. that's really showing. I don't get it. Oh, sports you, it's reference. A sports reference. Oh, okay. sports reference. Sorry. Um, let's go to Eric. Eric, you are on line six, 36 years old. What's up, Eric? Welcome to the show. Hello. Hey, Hi, Eric. Hello. Hi. Good evening. How's yes. it going? Good evening. Uh, so, what did you do? I'm a bit nervous. I'm sorry. Uh. Uh, okay. uh, I, I, You're I, I, I just wanted to share and ask questions about my situation right now. Okay. All sure. Right. Go ahead. Well, I before around eight years ago, uh, I was been with this family, my girlfriend's family. I was living with them. Okay. Then, uh, practically, her brothers and sister, my my girlfriend's brother and sister, grew up with me. Mm-hmm. And until I, there's something between me and her younger sister. So there's, there's some something. Whoa, happened wait, 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 time out. I, I'm, 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 t- I'm sending messages to Pico here about the hot chicks who are calling. I completely didn't hear that. Did you say you had something going on with your with wife's the sister? baby sister yeah. of the wife? Wait, wasn't it his girlfriend sister? Uh, oh, is it girlfriend or wife? It's his girlfriend sister, I think, right? Uh, uh, my 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 girlfriend's sister. Yeah, baby sister. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, younger sister. Okay. She's, she was eighteen like uh, before. And <sighs> this was something happened to us, and High it five. keeps on it keeps on it keeps on happening until now. And eight years for eight, eight years I, ago until now. Oh, no. Yeah. And you're married now with the same girl, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just. I'm, see, there's a different yeah, thing, guys and girls. I, yeah, Bianca, I, yeah Bianca, Bianca, Bianca calls you Koopa. That, I call that just you came hero. out of my mouth so hero. smooth, like tofu. Yeah, I would, I, I would accept that. Eric, I mean, don't worry about uh, it, man. Yeah, High five, brother. Why? Oh, yeah, you uh, should. I'm so sorry. I don't um, mean to judge yeah, you, but but what's your geez. question? Yeah, actually, let's get to the question. Paano kami. Paano yung pinakamagandang way na ayokong ma-offend ang, ng, ayokong ma-offend ng, ma-offend yung sister ng, ano, ng wife ko? Paano Because kami you want to break up, up with her. Mag- gusto kong well, well, may stop well, na lahat. Okay, let me interview this guy real quick so we, we know the frequency. Like, mm-hmm. how often are you banging the little sister? Uh, before, when she was 18, uh, you were 28, uh, maybe by around, the way. Every time, every time wala yung sister niya, uh, Kasi before bum ako eh. <laughs> wow, you're 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 and unemployed then, and fucking uh, sister. Nag- nag- kami ng, nag- kami ng intimate nag- kami ng, nag- kami intimate moment na while you're watching. Kasi hindi ko na rin, hindi ko na rin ano dahil na-attract din ako sa kanya. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not but, but, mad wait, wait, at you. Wait, I'm no, just anyway. No, continue. Bianca, don't worry. He's fine with the Kupal thing. Yeah. Don't worry. He's yeah. fine. Let's interview him just so we can speed up the process. What is? Uh, how often are you having sex with her now? Now, uh, twice a month. Twice a month. Twice a month. And as opposed to before, dude. it was how long? How many times? Well, every time he said. Every time the sister's gone, he's fucking this girl. Yeah. Oh my god! So that could be um, like every day. Okay. Well, yeah, listen, ganun, ganun if, it really, eh, if it if it listen, Eric, shut up. If it really bothers okay, you, okay. okay, if okay. it really bothers you, you uh-huh. can do this. You can show up to the house, like when you're mm-hmm. with them, and be like born again Christian. You know, like how sometimes they, they come inside with your Bible and start like pretending to be like, you know, start starts like, hey, you guys want to come to church with me? Look like you've been reformed. And then mm-hmm. she'll be like, ew, baduy naman to. And she won't want to fuck you again. And then you'll have a legitimate, you know, you're not going to break her heart and stuff. Like, now, you don't really have to be religious. But what I'm saying is when you're around her, pretend like have a Bible in your hand and just say, hey, listen, you know, I've, I've changed my ways. I'm Are you now, for real? I'm, I'm fucking serious. Are you serious? I'm learning, I'm I'm learning to you. be. The, what? This is a great lie. <laughs> Are you serious? There's nothing. Is you this like so your way of saying this Jesus will save you? Like, is this is this your way? No, you're going listen, pretty drastic. Mom, no, this is not drastic because I'm not <laughs> telling him to actually change religions. I'm just saying to imply that that's where he wants to go. So she completely gets bored with him and doesn't even look at him that way anymore. And all of a sudden, problems are solved. 
you know, I think this is a fucking brilliant idea. And okay. I, 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 I like how I'm you're thinking out of the box. For, for, the, like for the sake like of, of the entertainment and because we want to be proactive no. here in finding solutions, I will say that because if he breaks up with her the normal way, that could mean she could be like, no, I don't want to because she wants exactly. the bad boy. Exactly. She wants the bad boy. Or she could threaten that she will tell exactly. on him. Exactly. So he you know, has to do this desperate measure of exactly. him just not have any affection for her. Be not appealing. You know you know where I get this from? Steven, do you remember uh, Martin Lawrence, the, the comedian? He's, oh, he was on Bad Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yep. He gave this great explanation that sticks with me till now in one of his stand-up comedy things. He's like, you know, so many people, when they say they go to jail, they get raped in the ass, right? Yeah. Like, that's what happens. When you go to jail, you get raped in the ass. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's funny. Ha, ha, ha. This is what I'm going to do when I go to jail, he said. I'm going to shit all over myself and walk around just eating shit and wiping my own shit around me so that no one touches me. Because the worst thing that can happen to me is getting butt fucked in jail. So how to combat that is cover yourself in your own shit. Piss all over yourself. Be filthy. And I'm like, that's fucking genius. That's not just funny as in the way he said it. He delivered it, of course, much better. Of course. Yeah. Um, but the, the, the logic is sound. If you want to get out of a situation, the best way to get out of that situation is be disgusting. Or be unappealing. So you could either pretend you're this reformed pastor in the making and she's going to be ill like i certainly not going to fuck you or you could be disgusting but if you be disgusting then your wife's going to get turned off so which one are you going to do i say go the whole fucking religion route it works it's not my favorite solution but it makes sense yeah i give you points for thinking out of the box yeah you Whatever. think outside of the box with that one yeah, yeah. fuck you both a I'm for effort saying. a for effort mo yeah. okay well you have a better idea I don't, so I can't. I, I actually I can't say don't. Too much. Big for me, it's I hope he gets caught. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, he's that's gonna get caught question. somehow. He this is guys, because he can't this. keep up with that lie people. of I love Jesus the whole time. Yes, it, you can. It's gonna expire do you still, one wait, day. Do you live? Do you live They're with sisters your wife? too? Their sisters. Listen, they all live together. I know, but remember, he wants to get out of this, and he is in a very nasty situation. Yeah. Okay, he does, this is but not he just, cannot guarantee that the sister is going to shut up. That's the thing. This is not just banging your coworker. No, the sister's going to shut up. She's not going to say a word because there's no scandal involved. She actually no longer has the hots for this guy because he did something really <coughs> nerdy, which is go religion. You know what? Yeah. You'll also never know. She might realize, oh my God, he's a keeper. Now I want to marry him. <laughs> Who, the younger yeah. sister? I'm serious. Yeah. Sister? It could happen. The sister? Yeah. Could well, happen. guess what? He's oh. a pastor in the making. He's not going to allow it. I would sincerely go this route. You know who I think may have used this route? I think maybe like even like, for example, uh, people th say you're a gay guy. So, let's say like Piolo, diba? We, we had, um, who did we have here recently on Bernard. the show? Uh, B Bernard Palanca was here recently. And I said, hey, do you think Piolo's gay? And I said, you know the reason why I don't think he's gay is because he's Christian. And it's not, it's not possible. You said that or he does, said that? Yeah, I said that. Okay. Because I don't think Piolo's gay because he's Christian. Mm -hmm. And he genuinely looks like he is. And what if he's lying about that? What if he just throws that out there for people like me to believe in fact that he can't be homosexual? It works, man. No, I know a lot of people who use the Jesus card, and we all know they're gay. Come on. It just seems kind of low to use the Jesus card, though. It is. Right. It's not even low. He it's is like in a nasty situation. I know. I know. I know but he's Galaxies banging his wife's all. little sister. And he was 28 years old when he was banging her 18-year-old fucking college ass while the girlfriend was out at work. This is a really bad situation this guy's in. I'm just trying to save him. Uh, no, okay, go save yourself. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. No, listen, because hey, I'm listen, the girl. Steven, it's like... It's Steven, I know. Yo. But listen, this show is not about what's do, doing what's right. Uh, this yeah. show is about what's doing in the... Yes. Is giving advice yeah, in I the know. interest of our callers. Yes. So trying to save his marriage, regardless if we think he's a kupa. Yeah, I want mm -hmm. to save my marriage. Uh, yeah, right. I mean, How are you going to save your marriage? You have to do drastic... More. Yeah, you have to do the drastic stuff, man. I, I, I really believe yeah. if, you can't, if you're not going to do the religion route, you have to do something to make yourself unappealing to her. Yeah. You have to do uh, something to make you nasty. It's like I'm, I'm going to show her that I, I'm a reformed man, right, like that. Yeah, or show her you're not a catch. 
Yeah, like, 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 like get I'm, fat, I'm, like become really fat, like puncture your face so you have a lot of yeah, zits. Yeah, but your wife's they're not gonna like you. I'm sorry. You know, go, have, what do you what, what do you want? Something even more drastic? I mean, Pretend you're in a wheelchair? All of a sudden, yeah, look, I'm fucking anymore. All your all your options are pretty pretty limited. Yeah. 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 You don't exactly have a bunch of options to pick from. So I agree, Stephen. You gotta go drastic. I'm really this is a bad like, like Eric. Yeah. I mean, in fairness, Mo makes sense. It's not our favorite solution, yeah. but it makes sense. You don't got that many right. options, basically. Yeah. But right, I will brother. say, everything that you do, apart from you cheating and lying, all of that has consequences. And I can bet my life on it. For now, maybe you'll get away with it. But one day, sooner or later, you're so going to get caught. Even worse than you just fessing up. I'm sorry. Yeah, but listen, he wants to change his ways. He's 36 already. He was doing this in his 20s. I mean, it, it, come on. In the end, though, right, Eric? Like... It still kind of checks something off of a bucket list of some sort. Banging two sisters is kind of like a crazy fantasy for many guys. The problem with you is you married one of them. And that's exactly. that makes it so much more scandalous. Yeah. Exactly. You know, like you know, guys, we always have these crazy bucket list shit. Threesome, fucking my girlfriend's mother. But you don't marry these people. Um, ew. <laughs> I don't know what kind of guys of you are friends with, but yeah, it's not no, on totally. my bucket list. <laughs> yeah, it's not my own, but it's not on my bucket list. Come on, you know you've got to, you, you mean you're telling me your guy friend who worried he had an STD? Gotta, if he's like, he's like, <laughs> well, maybe he might be one of the, yeah, he might be the one that has that on his. You, you mom, ya, you mom ya, certified male fatty, gusto con. You know that's all fantasy shit. Yeah, people yeah. don't ever get to check that off the list. It's not realistic. This guy realistically checked it off his list. He was able to bang his girlfriend and the little sister who was hot. But then they got married. <laughs> but then they got married. It's they got like, married. yeah, the, the marriage, marriage part, part was like, oh, man. I mean, because when it's yeah. like just like the sisters, you're playing around. It's like, okay, that's fine. But one of them's your wife. <laughs> yeah. How's she going to take right. that? Oh, by the way, honey, I just want to let you know something. Yeah, your sister. Yeah, we've been doing a little something on the for side. The for the past eight yeah. years. For a decade. Right. Yeah. All right, just, Eric. Drastic, Hello. drastic, drastic. I think that's the only way to go, man. Make go your find a way to make yourself man. unappealing, and okay. uh, you know, good luck. Okay. Thank wait, wait, wait. You. Time out. Be- before we go, Eric, real quick, just between you and me, who's better in bed? Oh uh, little sister my or god. The wife? What? What? <laughs> who's better in bed, the little sister or the wife? Come again? I can. Uh, <laughs> okay, hold on. I gotta say it You're breaking who's, up. I'm sorry. Wait, who's better? Who's better in bed, the little sister or what? the wife? My my wife. Oh. Solid. Then why the yeah, fuck are you still fucking the other one? Because it's yeah, awesome. My, 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 wife, my wife's better than me. Yeah, good job. All right. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Oh. Enjoy. Rock on. Rock on. That's just one of those like calls. There's like, there's no good way. There's no good way it's gonna end. Listen, I, 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 I I'm part no of words. a family. <laughs> I'm part no of words. a family where something like that happened. Like, oh man. God, hold on. I, well, I'm trying to think if they listen to the podcast. My mom is here. She's part of this thing. My mom's like in the other room. So Wait, your mo- like yeah, really? Yeah. Your mom's yeah, yeah. Listen, 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 Oh, hi, mom. Awesome. My mo- she's like, she's like right there and outside the door. Okay. So my mom's, and I hope they don't listen to the podcast. Fuck. So my mom's the eldest, right? Okay. And then she's got a brother. Okay. And then a sister. Uh-huh. And then a sister. Uh-huh. So it's three girls, one dude. Okay. My mom is the eldest, brother, sister, sister. So the brother got married, mm-hmm. right? His wife ended up banging his sister. Fucking two girl on girl shit. What? what? His yes. wife ended oh, up no. banging one the of your sister. mom's sisters? Well, well, okay, let's just, let's just say that she's not my mom. Let's just say that he's my dad, her brother. Okay, so my uncle was my dad. Oh, yeah. so, his, so let's say my dad's wife started banging his sister, younger sister. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, that is and Instagrammable. They ended up together? They ended up together? Yeah, so like their kids are like brothers and cousins at the same time. What? Aww. Wait, they got married? Yeah. No, 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 no. Because they're they're two chicks, but they ended up like together. Like she ended up leaving him eventually after a few years. Ended up leaving the guy for. Okay. Like, yeah. But you yeah, know what? Like, That's okay because. Huh? What no, the fuck? No meaning, meaning. Why? You just call it a coupa. No, <laughs> I'm just hold on. The cheating part is wrong, but if a person were to leave me because they realize they're gay. That's okay because I can't compete with that. I don't have a penis. It's your sibling, though. Yeah. 
Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, I okay. get the whole cheating yeah. on me with the opposite sex thing. Cheating okay. on me with the opposite sex, and that person happens to be my fucking sister. Is a little my baby exactly. sister. Exactly. My yeah. next. Okay. Okay. Now that you put that way, I forgot not that part. Like, the not sister. like eleven children down the line. My next immediate out of four. Damn. She ended up boning number three. Not too cool. Yeah. Not too cool. Not hey, too by the cool. way, guys, okay, if I'm you gonna ask you. I, I need to ask. To this, I apologize. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go. I need to yeah. ask Mo. Like, yeah. you know, a lot of the people who call here in the show, they need have to wonder where you know where your moral compass is at. I'm not trying to question me? you. What I'm no, hold on. Let me let me finish. What yeah. I'm trying to say is, people won't believe me when I say this, but Mo is Mohan is actually a really good person. He's actually a really good guy. But of course, yeah. like you said earlier. The purpose of the show is not to tell people what to do, what's right. The purpose is to help them with their problems, whatever it is, if it's right or wrong, sure. whatever, right? So yeah, my well, question for yeah, so my question for you is with regards to the situation of Eric. Forget moral com- uh, forget moral compasses. What how do you feel about it? Oh wait, first of, first of all, hold on, uh, Pico. Can you get Bianca a little louder? Uh, it's just there's a level difference between Stephen, her, and and myself. Uh, what do you mean? What I think about it? Like, like I meaning think that- you obviously did what you're supposed to do, which is you helped him with this problem. But how do you actually feel about it? I don't think. Uh, I mean, I don't care that much. Like. He for for a couple of years he was like I said checking off a bucket list thing that a lot of guys fantasize about and he made a mistake and he fucking married his wife well a mistake in that aspect but he must really love her and all of that stuff I don't know but I think that um, at thirty six he's grown up and said okay you know and many guys grow up it yeah, takes but it to, took him eight years yeah, it took him eight years to do yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> And get think, married, exactly. right? I think females. I think females have grown up by twenty-five. I don't think males have grown up by twenty-five at all. Okay. Now, now, Stephen, you're twenty-seven. I'm twenty-seven. Today. Yeah, just right. turned twenty-seven. And when I was twenty-seven, I certainly was not grown up. I guess I it also depends on your personal on experiences. Yeah. It depends on what you've been depends. through. Right, but person. we're talking generalization. Okay. Here. I okay. think females f- hit a maturity a, where they're making correct decisions and all of these. I think I think girls fucking fuck it up when they're 18, 19, 20, as you've seen with our calls this uh, early on in the program. And from our calls in the past two days, Bianca, our, yeah. our, our, the calls yesterday were fucking wild. I know. Oh, man, just wild. And they were all from 18-year-olds. Yeah. Like some girl called us 18. She was like, hmm, my professor wants me to give him a blow job. He'll give me a good grade. What do you think? It's like, really? But you know, when you're 25 and you're a female, you don't make those stupid decisions anymore. When you're a guy, you continue to do stupid shit, I think, until your 30s. And I think oh. what this guy is did, it was like, okay, I'm 28. I'm still kind of stupid. There's an 18 year old who's here in this house. It's the sister of the girl that I'm banging. I'm totally going to fuck this girl. You know, you think about it that way. And then when you get in your 30s and you get, you know, your family man now, all of that shit goes out the window. I'm serious, man. I think, yeah. I, I, generally speaking, I Definitely think... Definitely maturity comes with age, but I think it also depends on the person. Some people can be way more mature even though at a young age. Age is never a guarantee of age maturity. Age is not a guarantee. Yeah. Sure. It's just a sure. statistic. Right, but, we're, but at the same time, we're all on the same page that teenagers are stupid. Right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, most teenagers are fucking retards. Sometimes I just so, think when you say, you know, you know girls mature faster than men, but the way I, I want to see it, men just don't want to mature at a younger age. I mean, again, so, because they always say, oh, the reason why I was like that, because, you know, they say that girls mature faster, and I was only 25. It's like, why use that as an excuse? Like, some guys, I feel, is, you know, use that a as a prime. convenient excuse. We have a prime. Like, let's take athletics. Steve is a huge sports fan, and I'm a big sports fan. Yes. Can't you see the difference between the athlete and how he behaves off the field at 20s, in his 20s, than when he behaves off the field in his 30s? There's always a oh, big yeah. difference. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so I mean, you, you, they're so much more respected but, even in the 30s. And they look, so, they look so old already. Like, let's take 
let's take baseball, for example. And I know this is going to really limit our audience, but let's take a Chipper Jones, for example, who just retired. She just you know lost who he is, me. right? He plays, <laughs> yeah. he plays third base for Atlanta. And he was, what, 35? And the guy looked like he was 40 just because of the maturity level that they, they, they kind of give out at the, in their 30s compared to when they're in their 20s. You can take football in your Michael Irving, for example, who's like maybe 40 now, but he looks far more mature now, even though he's still kind of wild than he did when he was in 20s getting arrested uh, every I wonder what that and, says about David Beckham because he is so hot. No, but you get what I mean. Yes, like, I, do, you, I do. If let's take something like athletics and see Kobe, who was probably banging chicks in like Colorado and all of that stuff in his twenties oh. and banging every chick, to now where he's a little bit more refined and, and yeah, just you know, you get you get matured as the, as the time goes on. You would hope so, but there's some people too. It really doesn't matter about their age. If they do stupid stuff, yeah, they just do stupid stuff. Yeah, I no, think I it's you. it's it's uh, different for every person where they need to fill fulfill this desire of just doing everything possibly stupid, I- illegal, or yeah. just anything that, that they, they like need that. to get it out of their system, regardless of age. All right, let's yeah. go to Donna. Donna, on line five, what's up? Hello. Hello. Hi, Donna. How can we help Good you? Evening. Twenty-four. Hello. Las Piñas. Meaning you're one okay. year away from maturing. So let's go. Let's do some crazy shit. <laughs> okay. Okay, hello? Yes. yes. Go ahead, Donna. Okay. So here's my question. I'm in a seven-year relationship with my boyfriend, and he wants to buy a house. And I think mm-hmm. it's a little too soon, but I can't convince him otherwise. And I think it's stupid. So. I think it's uh, stupid. What do you guys think? I absolutely think it's, it's too stupid. Soon. Yeah. And no, seven year relationship. It's not too soon to buy a house no, no, no. and get married after seven years. What's stupid yeah. is that you're going to buy a house with someone you've been together with since you were 17. I think that's stupid. Yeah. But, but I, I feel like if, um, but I can't stop him because, you know, he's, he's, uh, I think he's, for a guy, he's a little too mature for his age. Like he wants this setup, like this and like that. Um, and I, and I can't convince him to not do it, not do it now. Um, you can lie. Him, you can I say you don't have him, money. He might break, break up with me. And I fear that he might be, you know, like the one that got away because, you know, he's a really good guy. He's smart. He's handsome. And I can go on and on. But but I think he, uh, this one, uh, with this decision making, I think it's, it's, it's saying something. <laughs> he, he lacks decision-making skills, right? Or it could Um, just be that he's, um, let's just say he really is prepared. Like, he's actually ready. And you're not. You know, it doesn't mean that he's not good at making this. He's not capable of making decisions. It's, a, it's just that some people are able to do it at a younger age and some, pe- some people are not. You know, it's all about timing as well. Um, then if he wants to buy the house, then let him. <laughs> don't yeah. take, so you don't, don't you, take you, part so in it. you don't have money. Yeah. So you don't have money. Wait, the boyfriend, Donna, your boyfriend is younger than you or? No, no, no. Uh, we are, I think he's like a year older than me but we we're, we're batchmates in college yeah. we graduated both uh, you guys have been together yeah, for seven batchmates. years yeah so 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 yeah, your so problem I, is what your problem is he wants to buy a house and but does not want yeah. to get married and you think that's weird he, yeah because the thing is that we, we both get to pay for the house because it's so you don't have any future money. before we get yeah. married we should have a house Something like that. Uh, and of course, there's talks about, uh, there's no concrete no. plan yet on, on like marriage or whatnot, but but there's talk of the future. So I, I don't you know. know, you know the, the, I'm uh, kind listen, of excited, but I think it's a little too soon and it's going to be a burden. Not yet. Well, like okay, let's, let's, okay, let's, do, let's take, the, let's take the stats, but then let's also separate how you feel about him. Because... If I didn't know how you felt about him, and if I didn't know he was handsome and nice and responsible and okay. successful, if I didn't know any of those things, if you just brought to the table right now the stats, which is you have a boyfriend that you've been together with since you were 17 or 16 years old. You've been together with him exclusively since your young, yeah. young years. Yes. And yeah. there's talk of marriage at 24 and buying a yeah. house. I would yeah. tell you you're fucking out of your mind. 
And that's why I tell young people, don't stay with your boyfriend or your girlfriend that you had when you were a teenager because when you get to become 21, 22, you know what they start doing? They start going, we need to take the next step in our relationship, which means marriage. And that means getting married in their early 20s and being miserable in their 30s. Do not get into serious, long-term relationships when you're 16 or 17. That's the stats, okay? That's the part that, that's the, without any knowledge of him being fucking amazing. Now, you're saying he is amazing, though. He's really nice and this and all of that. So he could be the exception to the rule. So I, I'm, I'm stuck here. I'm torn 50-50. Number one, I would like you to break up with him immediately. But number two, you're excited about okay. a life with him, and you see he's a really, really nice guy. So you could be yeah. the exception to the general rule. I don't know. Like, I'm, so, a, I'm a big fan of your show, and you always say that advice. And then I asked him that, like, uh, you're my first boyfriend, and I'm, yeah, we're, we're each other's first. And I mean, how can you say that we're really good for each other? And how could you define good? I mean, if you only when you, try, know, when you have right? no point of comparison, yeah. correct? That's, yeah, what, that's but, what's dangerous but, about getting in these long term stuff. But again, you yeah. guys could be both just the greatest people ever. Exactly. And, and, yeah, and then yeah. our rules, you know, our rules. Yeah, strongly, yeah I, but I since we've established that, that you guys are great. Future but it's just that I don't know if it's really good. Like, I can't compare it to like a. Do you live together? Uh, no, 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 no. But, but why don't you I try that first? Yeah, yeah, why don't you try like, living together? Like, 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 why don't you try living together in a place you rent? Exactly. And Buying so there's a not a lot of a you thing. cannot buy yeah. a house. It's um because if you guys break up, things get messy. Oh God, it's gonna get even messier. Listen, you, last my, my last crazy girlfriend, we were days away from buying a house uh right down the street from your house bianca we were days away okay. like literally just on the brink of putting the money down a house for the both of us yeah. and i mean not to say that every relationship ends like mine but look how fucking awful it is. and thank god i didn't drop x amount of millions on said house and neither did she because fucking you know right now we'd probably choke each other if we saw each other you know buying a house would really compromise or it might take a toll on the relationship. And if the relationship ever ends, as I think it would, because you guys have been together too long, it becomes I, very messy. <laughs> you know, for one, I mean, like Mo said, I think living together, trying that out first is a better thing as opposed to buying a house than living together. Yeah. You don't even know mm. what the both of you are like when you live together. So try renting a place first. Yeah. Because you oh, say well. that you don't live together. So having to rent a place, it also shows to you, uh, to, to each other, how you guys are with expenses, how you guys are with your daily habits, how you guys are, if you are actually cohesive, if you guys actually get along in the house and you can stand each other's nasty habits. Those tiny things, it will be revealed. And those in, are big Yeah, in, in, in just short months. And if you can't stand that, I mean, it's a matter of will you be able to take it or not. But if you have a house together, you're pretty much stuck. Yeah, I think it's more like trying to use this like analogy of a bike. You should try going with the training wheels first before you jump on the bike. Exactly. Totally. Use the totally. training wheels, see how okay. you guys fit yeah. work. Like, you know, if you really want to try experimenting living together, try renting an apartment, try renting a place together. And like Bianca was saying, you're going you're gonna to start seeing things about the guy like, oh, I didn't know he acted like that. Oh, I didn't know yeah. he does that. Or, and he might notice things about you, you know, it's vice versa. And you know, and the and the the thing is, it's um, when you tell him because you were saying, yeah, like um, you're saying that Mo always I'm says it's on the show, yeah. Um, when you tell him, like, obviously, like you say, he's such a good guy. You don't want to dishearten him as well because, for all we know, he's got the greatest intentions, right? So when you talk to him, like, say, you know, validate the fact that you can see that he, the, his intent is there to build a future for the both of you. Then just say, you also have the same intentions, but you'd rather that, you know, you come to a compromise and kind of 
take it a few steps back so that you guys can move forward. And listen, then you can you come up with your money. suggestion. Just say you don't have money. So listen, I can't, do, I can't afford that right now. I, I'm 24 years old. There's no, I don't know any other 24-year-old in my fucking company or my family that was able to buy a house at 24. This is money-saving oh. moments. So it's not about investing it in something right now because I don't have a lot of it. I want to be able to save up as much as possible yeah. at this age because so that I is the realistic... That. Yeah, totally. That's you completely legit money, excuse. You can't afford to lose, right? I mean, totally. And you you should be buying a house when you're your 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 late 20s at best. Unless, of course, you come from a rich family. But if you're starting from the bottom, 24 and you want rent to drop money on a house. Mm. Yeah, rent, rent a place first. Rent a place, place first. That works. And hopefully you'll break up within that year that you're renting. And then you can move on and find a second. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Taking a break. Thanks, Donna. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Means I may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. First, open iTunes. Your next step, hit the iTunes Store button. A search bar should open up as soon as you do that. Type New Media Factory in the search bar and all your shows should open. Pick the show you like, or all the shows you like, and once that opens, hit the subscribe button. And that's it. You're in. All shows will now be automatically downloaded to your device. I don't know if you guys are familiar with a, with a game Chubby Bunny, but um, what's like? Have you played play Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth. You okay. Chubby bunny. Okay. Whoever can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say chubby bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you, okay, gonna ba? Okay. And you're gonna be like, okay, na, okay, na. Okay. 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 Yeah. Go. Two at a time. Okay, I'll go two at a time. Okay, gonna ba? What? Okay, na, okay, na. <laughs> What show? That show! It's a show! You know, all that show! It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show! Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about. Oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina? And. Like a double blowjob! Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. 
High five, bro. Vagina. Vaginas. And you're jacking off really intensely, but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. Go. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. Then the maid got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not. <laughs> Tears off. Tears off. Anyway, John <laughs> does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so John this, and I am now happy to present to you Carlo Tayo. Look at this. Snacks? Ano ba to? Ganyan ba yan? Tapos? Ano po ba po? Ano po po? Ano po po? Ano po po? Ano po 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 more pimples will appear. Abura <laughs> <laughs> ina, abura ina siya. Oh my god! Damn! Oh my god! 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 Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lols every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. What you've been missing on The Factory. Were you the one who posted, James, regarding uh, the guidelines when it comes to checkpoints? Yes, I That's was. That's fantastic. Yes, I just made it up, but you know, I thought... <laughs> 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 you made it up! I mean, this time of year, right? Elections. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you never let the truth get in the way of a good story, okay? <laughs> Children, do not follow this at home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just so you know your rights. If you do get stopped by a checkpoint, you are not we're able to, to verify all of these, James. You're not allowed to run over them. That didn't make it here. So technically... <laughs> now, number two. Upon approach, uh, slow down. I guess that counts as not running them over. <laughs> Dim headlights and slow turn down. on cabin lights. Friend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program here, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two, brought to you by Globe on this Wednesday night. You know what I like about this Steven Silva, um, Bianca? Yes. He doesn't just like sports, man. He also sings, cooks. I know. Nice I, I looked at this Twitter because I was like, I need to see this guy. And and there is a photo of this really pretty girl that said, blah, 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 my my one nigga. It was so cute. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure she's, yeah, she's thrilled about that. Oh, so <laughs> no, but I really cute. like this guy, man. So He's talented, cute. you know, nice guy, talented. You know, clean cut. It's, you know, I mean, I'm sure you probably have a little bit of a naughty side, but you you seem like you don't. It's do anything always wrong. the quiet, nerdy types that have the freak. No, the this is a genuinely nice guy, man. I can. Hey, tell I'm you. all for it, right? Yeah, I'm yeah, not a dude. nerd. I, I yeah, but I was a, I said clean cut, not nerd. Yeah, I mean, yeah, in nerd, what you I got, mean you got is the like newscasters hair. It's not about nerd, the like like hair. mathematically smart, but obviously you seem like a very intelligent guy. Oh, You've got a good you. head on your shoulders. Yeah. My mom raised and, me well. All right. Yeah. He has yeah. been rehearsing for a show called uh, Boston, the Kitchen Musical. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah. Thanks, Mo, for bringing that up. So, yeah, no, totally. So when are we going to see this hopefully air? I, I mean, again, I know these kinds of shows, which really combines two difficult 
I don't know what difficult genres. levels of acting. I mean, yeah, genres. Cooking I mean, you, you know, you, acting is difficult already, but you're not just acting now. You're acting and singing, and now you're not you're not acting and singing. You're acting, singing, and cooking. I mean, it's like it's really it's uh, it's, uh, it's actually exciting. It's exciting. Yeah, but it must be so difficult though, huh? There's a lot of preparation that goes on to it. Um, I mean, like before we've even started our rehearsals, they actually gave us a couple of crash courses in cooking. Uh, we actually went to a culinary academy here in uh, Manila, and we were. We sat in on like uh, we had a, like a workshop. They had chefs like teaching us like you know like what they do on a daily basis. They gave us some like skills run throughs. And um, how important is the cooking though to the storyline, or at least because obviously what we're looking for if we're gonna watch it is mm. the songs, right? Yeah, I mean, of course. That's why it makes it music. So the songs, the characters, and the story. Of know. course, the story is the story is the main thing that really kind of pushes it along. But I think right. I so mean, what, what's all of this? Uh, what's all this? Um, focus on the cooking then like with the workshops and whatever well i mean because it, it it's part of the realism like you know if you start saying whatever and like you know and even the people in the background if they don't look like they're working in the kitchen it kind of takes away from it you know what i mean sure like yeah, you can have someone in the back just like waving a knife around but if they're actually if it actually looks like they're doing something with the knife then it kind of adds like oh we actually look like we're really in a kitchen now so gotcha you know yeah what it I mean? makes sense now you're right and plus yeah, like you know it kind of helps you like as an actor like you know the more you know the more you can actually put into the character. So, like, if I know, if I'm gonna be a chef, and if I if I don't do anything about it, like, you know, if I can just make stuff off my head, yeah, I could maybe wing it. But like, if I actually take the time and like I learn sure. some of the craft, yeah. I try to absorb some of it. It's gonna show through the character. So, like, it's kind of like you're more confident in the. You're more that confident, you do. Exactly. like, and being more confident makes you look the part. Exactly. So, like, say for example, like, just being me, like, if I never took culinary classes or anything, but then like, you know, I had this part. And if I did research and research, like technically you could say like, oh, he's never taken color in there, but he looks the part because he's putting the character into it, like when it, with the research and everything. That's, a lot of actors do that. They research to like add another layer to their character and whatnot. That's right. To be a yeah. more effective actor. So if, if when it comes to these like glee type of shows where, where they're singing and they break out in a song, yeah, yeah. acting at the same time and stuff. Uh, the experience of it all is it does it feel more like television does it feel more like movies does it feel more like broadway musical when you're actually doing it i mean cuz because i've acted and i'm an awful awful actor and i know i can kind of feel the difference between the movies and television okay. like when i've done movies when i've seen, but now that you're adding the singing in part and the performance part does it feel more musical than it does say television um not really. It, it it feels like a TV show still, but um, th of course there is the musical element. But it's still a TV show, and um, like it's really in depth. Like uh, one thing I'm really like shocked is our preparations are really different. Like we we go through a lot of stuff. We haven't even started taping yet. We haven't even started shooting yet. We're still sure. working on that. We're 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 doing things that are called slide cuts. It's basically like it's doing the shooting of the show. It's like rehearsal shootings, but yeah. you actually take footage. So like you know we're doing all the scenes for the show, and we're not wearing wow, our costumes. We're not on the set. It, yeah, it's like it's like we're gonna tape the show twice, but it helps. It really helps. It that's helps. That's awesome. You. So at least yeah. by the but time yeah, you actually do the real thing, you feel more comfortable and like you said, set, confident. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. I think here in the U.S., like even say your normal sitcom, you're like say. Yeah, I remember like Friends, for example, when that was airing. I still, think they do those. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's not just you don't go to you don't go to the show and tape it. And that's it, like we do in the Philippines. You actually go and rehearse every day until the taping day and do that's the lines. That's what we've been doing. And, and, we've, we've, right, so we have these table readings where we just sit around and we read. That's the first time I've done this. So I, like, you know, for me, like, I was surprised. Like, we were just sitting around the table reading the scripts. And like, it was nice because people would be like, oh, there's something wrong here. Oh, this doesn't sound right. So like, you know, the script is getting better as we're going along. Yeah. You know that's what right. I mean? So that's the, right. in the end, the yeah. show is going to get better, hopefully. So when do we hope to see this? I mean, again, like I this, know you said you're prepping it right now and you haven't started taping yet, but are we looking mid next year? Or this is, we we're shooting at? for February, March next gotcha. year. So like I said, we haven't even started the, the shooting date. So, but once that gets going, that's going to be like, you know, a continuous process. And we're shooting for a February, March of uh, 2014. Fantastic. So yeah. it's called Boston, the, the Boston Kitchen Musical, Kitchen Musical. Right? That's gotcha. what it's called. And this is... There, is it in the same franchise as the one Christian and Kirill did, or yes. it's um, just like it? It's, Kitchen Musical. It's the franchise. Uh, I think it's the it's the same group of producers from Singapore. Yes. But um, the production team that we have is actually different from the ones that they had. There's a, we have a new director. Okay. Um, 
all the artists, all the staff, like all the actors are all different. There's they don't have any returning actors, but I think we're gonna have some guestings. I think Kirill and Christian might be guesting. I'm not so sure yet, but we might have some guestings okay. from the previous season. And where is this going to be shown? So it's gonna be shown all over Asia. That's what we're hoping for. Right now, we're for sure it's going to show here in the Philippines. Yeah. And we're also working uh, with international partners to see if we can right. also air it abroad. Yeah. So we're hoping. We're trying. To, we're keeping yeah. our fingers crossed. You know. Do you me a favor? I know it's going to get really hectic for you when it gets closer to launch time, but we'd love to have you back to promote it again. Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, just and definitely. sing. You know, cool. I, and I know sing. it's going to be. And sing. And sing. Yeah, I know it's going to be nuts for you, though, yeah. especially when something like this, a franchise like this, starts getting closer to launch day. Yeah, so it's going Congratulations on the project, man. And, and cause, Thanks, I mean, like CJ you said, Rome. you just came from rehearsal now, and it's. It's still fucking November, and you're rehearsing for things that's going to happen next year. I mean, that's but that's it's exciting, dedication. man. It's one of those things. It's like at the end of a rehearsal. It's not one of those things where I'm tired, like you know, like oh god, I don't want to do this you're again. You're pumped it's, up. It's like you're you're tired, but then it's like it's like oh, I really enjoyed what I did today. You know what I mean? Love it. So Love it's it. the best yeah, feeling. Totally. Follow him on Twitter. I am Steven Silva. You can probably get more updates about uh, you know Kitchen Musical there as well, as well as all the other stuff that's going on in his life. Plus, you can also. Uh, confirm, in fact, that he is very much in love because you can see it in his tweets. That's what I see. At least. She's so You're, cute. Yeah. Nice. I can see her in my oh, heart. You, can. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny because uh, Bianca, too, brings uh, a special someone to the show that she never refers to. I have this either. dog that and, uh, people don't know yeah. about. Dogs. He's in the background such also. Such a cute dog. And, yeah. like, yeah. Such dogs. a puppy. Yeah, yeah. Both of you guys. Mm. Fucking liars. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the calls. <laughs> Let's talk to Carlo. Carlo, you're on line five. What's up, buddy? Hi, hi, yes, Mo. Uh, Arnie yeah, here. Carlo, you uh, could be uh, the most no. odd voice we've ever had. Oh, yes, okay, go. sorry for that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so no here's my concern. Uh, sure. Actually, I I uh, posted in your Ask that FM site, and uh, a couple of nights ago, uh, I got drunk with my friends in my friend's apartment. So, sure. I'm totally passed out, and uh, my friends just left me there in, in my in my other friend's apartment. However, uh, time out, time out, time out, time out, Carl. Night. That's the difference between guys and girls here. Steven, wrap your mind okay. around this. Okay. Bianca, concur if you can. Okay. Uh, the difference between guys and girls. When a guy gets blackout drunk, guys will fuck with you or leave your ass there. Yeah. They'll draw a dick on They'll your just face. Just leave you there. Yeah, they'll draw a dick on your face and do some <laughs> stupid shit to you. When it's a girl and she passes out, oh my god, this is alcoholic poisoning. We have to get to the emergency <laughs> room true. immediately. Let's hey, go. I'm sorry, oh god, but there her, is some the kind of friend. There is some kind put of girl. Her in the not all, not all. Get a, but I, I've, get, get I've a, seen a few of those. <laughs> Yeah, the guy's just like, oh, do. God, Mo passed out. Let's do some funny shit to him. <laughs> yeah, 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 let's go piss on his head. Yeah, <laughs> girls, oh, my God, this is so tragic. It's tragic. Okay, get Someone her some water. Yeah, yeah, Get yeah, her some yeah. water. Yeah. Hot pack. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> like, all right, anyway, so you're uh, fucking, you pass out and your fucking friend just left you there. Bad and then, situation. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, so I, I stayed the night there. Uh, I slept. Uh, I, I I don't remember, but as far as I know, I slept in in my friend's sala. And last night or, or last Monday, my friend told me that uh, my friend who owns the apartment told me that he he had a nude photos of me, and Lovely. he That's he blackmails me that you will be sending that to everyone and telling that there's something happened between the two of us. It it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> yes, really you're fucking, you hilarious. fucking hilarious. Yes. Yes. No, no, we're laughing at you. <laughs> that's, oh that's what makes God. it fucking hilarious. Yeah. So what's the problem now, though? Uh, I, I I don't know what to do about that since uh, we don't know that he's gay, and I don't know no, that wait, he's gay. Well, time out, time out, time out. First of all, is he gay? Uh we don't know. I don't know. Okay, and then Maybe. what does he want? Is there a blackmail going on? Oh. So he says. So listen, he says. Okay, I'm gonna spread these pictures of you naked, uh, unless you do what? Is there is there a catch? I mean, do you have to do something? Pay him? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, he he told me that if if he he uh, gives me a, a BJ, uh, he won't uh, spread the photos. I I really don't know if the photos are real or not. Oh, okay, because so you, you haven't seen it. Oh, you okay, haven't so even seen the pictures. You need to so see wait, wait, them wait. first. Yeah. You need yeah, real evidence. 
Well, time out, though. We have to know who's going to be sucking whose dick, though. No, like, the really gay guy time. wants to suck our caller's dick. Is that true? Yes, that's great. Yeah, oh, okay. yes, that's yes, not so yes. bad. Yeah, that's not so bad. Um, yeah. yeah, okay. Well, let's get to it then, guys. So, what, it, you it, need it to see this evidence. Like pictures. you said, you yeah. don't even know if the photos are actually existing. You need to see the photos first. Yeah. But that's the thing. It's like you watch, like, in CSI and all these other things. I mean, once you've done actually what they want you to do, how do you know there are no other copies, right? It's like, what is your total guarantee? CSI, and going on that CSI stuff or, like, the TV shows, like the, the, the police thrillers, what you need to do, and, again, this might be drastic. This might be as yeah. drastic as my turn into a pastor shit, but <laughs> yeah. is take a photo of his sister, like, getting out of the car or going inside her school and saying, okay, yeah, you have pictures? Guess what? I got pictures of your sister right here. I'm going to kill that bitch if you fucking do, you know, do anything. Okay. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're Fighting fire right. with fire. Yeah, totally. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to kill her, but yeah. just saying, hey, listen, yeah, like you do one. that? Like yeah, you that. do that to me? Like Look at that. That's a, that's a photo of your sister walking into her school. That's a photo of her right there getting out of her car. You know, in black and white, by like, they do on the TV show. Yeah. <laughs> that's the drama. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's I'm going to sniper that bitch <laughs> if I see any of my dick photos come out. There it that's is. Right. But no, no, but I mean, I don't know. Steve, w- 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 let's be, be realistic. Say go you ahead. got yourself in a situation like this. What are, what are you going to do? Oh, God. I don't know. I might have to call some of your friends up and muscle them out. Just tell them, you know, hey. Beat his ass. We're going to fucking beat your ass if you don't, if you don't come clean with what you got. Yeah. It's an old-fashioned way, of- but you know what I mean? Yeah, it is, I, I but at the same time, it might fuel more rage with that person. Well, and, who, and, and, and an angry yeah, well, gay guy? Me. Oh, man. Uh-oh. That is well, some nasty how, shit. How let's I talk hurt. about rage. Who's more mad? The guy who's the victim or the guy who's trying to pull off the stupid blackmail? It's always the victim. So if you want to talk but about But he doesn't rage seem so dick, mad. He said it was fucking well, yeah, hilarious. The, he actually seems yeah, really and, and like, the thing is, it's like... It's not like this caller's going to be very... He's not going to be compelling about him being angry. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just, it doesn't have that thing about him. <laughs> um, what's your name again? Carlo? Is that Carlo, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, in the end... I really, if I were you, I would, being realistic, I would get his blackmailing threats on text message, like s- s- make sure to have him send you these things, at least so if you would want to do it clean, you can know that that's a crime, obviously, and that's something that could be reported. However, I, I mean, aside from having the, the, the evidence that he's threatening you, I still go with the route that Steven has brought up, which is, okay, you want to play this game? I just want you to know that if you do this to me, and I didn't deserve it, I was just passed out, and you did this to me, I'm going to fucking beat the shit out of you. And it's not going to be like a fair fight where I'm going to bring my entire barangay to burn your fucking house down. <laughs> That's okay, what I would Stephen do. did. Stephen did not say that, but no, but you know what well, I mean. He yeah. just added a little extra. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I just added a little bit more of arson, you know, yeah. shit like right. that. Right. Um, but that, that's the message you come up with, right, Steve? I'd be like, is, is that what you're going with? Yeah, that's, it's a physical intimidation. I mean, because he's intimidating him too, but he's like trying to blackmail you, so. Yeah. And it's nude photos blackmail. It's not like blackmail of like stupid photos. It's like he actually undressed you and took photos of you, which that also was a crime. So, I mean, you're talking about a lot of shit he supposedly done. Yeah. And I would combat that with a, a lot of pain. I think I think I think kicking his ass, even if he doesn't let go of the pictures, is still warranted. To be honest, teach him a lesson. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Wait. Do now, you feel, uh, do you feel uh, better? Yeah. Like yeah, he did, did he yeah, actually yeah. help he's you? Insane. Like pretty happy. <laughs> and, okay. and, and you know, and I know oh, Carlo yeah. doesn't have a big dick. I mean, you can tell with the, the way he just carries himself. <laughs> oh. So imagine like passed out penis picture it must be like the smallest thing ever it's like oh boy this is gonna be really damaging for you so, no you yeah. can whoop just ass. say it's a grower <laughs> yeah whoop ass all right carlo oh. be careful carlo stop getting so drunk man yeah, yeah do not again. get drunk or, like that or get around, get some new friends <laughs> or you know you know this is what i would do oh sorry to throw one more in i'd say okay you can suck my dick so i'd get there uh wherever you are say come over to my house i'm gonna suck your dick and, you know, he gets on his knees. You're standing up. Right when you're about to undress, he's in a perfect position for you to beat the shit out of him. Oh, he's already lying face. down there. <laughs> yeah. That's where you then you pull out a pencil and stick it in his ear. Or whatever. Oh. Okay? Uh, 
Yeah. Well, that's what you I You don't do. sound yeah. distressed at all. Right? He seems okay with this. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. You, you got good issues. Okay. All right, Carlo. Rock on, brother. <laughs> Thanks for the call. Appreciate right. it. Bye-bye. Uh, Let's go to... Who do we have next? Sorry, we have so many calls. I don't even know which one we're taking. Is this Claire? Yep. 23? Is that right? Mm-hmm. Claire? Yeah. Line 6? Yes. You are 23. Hi. Hashtag South. Yes. What's up? Uh, hello. I think my story is kind of um, a cliche one, and that's my problem because I'm already 23, and um, I have those cliche love stories where in... Um, no problem. There, I really, uh, my boyfriend doesn't really exert effort in our relationship, and we're nearly five years. Um, I really don't want perfect perfection in our relationship. What I want is effort, just a little has effort he, coming has from it him. Has it declined? Has it declined oh. over the years, or has it just kind of? He's always been that way. Um, I think for our first six months, that's what I remembered because we're new, right? In relationships, when um, we have a new one, um, the other person will really exert effort to just sure. show you how how he feels, right? But then yeah, after those six months, I think um, I'm the only one who's exerting effort, and I really tried to break up with him and the problem lies with me because after I like a few tries of breaking up with him I am usually the one who um, comes back again again yeah, and again yeah. And, and that's another and again, are guys. Five years already. Right, and that's why I don't want to sound like paulit ulit. But again, that's another yeah. symptom of getting in a relationship when you're 17 and fucking being there year after year after year after year. You kind of just get this whole like dependence on another person where you can't kind of even deal mm-hmm. without them being around. But you're unhappy. You're miserable. Nobody loves each other. You know, it, it it's it's just a nasty process. Um, yeah. They're also I really so young. Think, it's like, yeah, it's I mean, like you started course. off the conversation yeah. with, I'm already 23. It's like, uh, like <laughs> Jesus Christ. It sounds like, so come tired. on, man. Sounds so tired, I know. You're, in, you're not even in your prime yet. Um, so, so I, I mean, guys, I don't know how you feel. I, I'd say break up and stick to it. Like, think of it as trying to get. Well, he's like, how much longer do you want to tolerate this? The guy doesn't treat yeah. you well. He doesn't make you feel important. It's been going on for three and a half years, or sorry, four and a half years, where he's been yeah. doing this. How much more do you want? How much longer do you want to hang out in a relationship like this? And when especially you are at in that age, it's not like he's gonna be like, "Baby, let's get married." You know, yeah. it's 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 not gonna go sweeter. G- like gallantly from from this level. Well, I'm curious. Actually, What's I happening? worry. He says, "Get get married." If he does say the words, "Let's get married," then you're really doomed. Oh. No, you know what I mean. Meaning, obviously, she's hoping that it's going to become like this fairy tale. That meaning, it's really going to be so much better because she's giving in what she can, and she's expecting that he does the same. I don't see that happening in the near future. One, you guys are too young. Two, because you're also so young, you guys have been dating for so long. It's purely nagsawa nasha. It's more like you're there. Why not? Have you told him that you want to break up with him before? Yes. And what did I he say? think he has been threatened before a year ago because a friend of mine really asked me out. But then I turned him down. Oh, because you guys because... are still together, right? Yes. No, but I mean, like, because what's his reaction when, he, when you tell him? You say, you say uh, babe, I want to break up with you. No. Sometimes we talk a lot. You guys, fight, you guys fight a lot. Then... Yeah. Why do you guys? Try- yeah. yeah. Well, it's just funny because when they're trying to save a relationship, they're still fighting. <laughs> it's like, yeah. it, it's just a bad sign. Love. Yeah. Um, and, and again, you sound like you're 35 years old, and I think it's. She sounds a, tired. Yeah, yeah, I think it really just shows that it's because of this fucking awful relationship. I think yeah. it's just really run its course. It doesn't it's, it's, mean that you're a clear. failure or my pagkukulang ka as a person. Yeah, I don't think she feels that way, uh, Beyonce. Yeah. I mean, in terms of her feeling like a failure, I think she knows, obviously, that he's a dick. 
it's just sticking around. Yeah. I, I think, listen, you're 23. You sound yeah. older than all four of us. Like, of the four of us, you sound like you're the oldest one. And that's sad. So let's get away from that. Yeah. Let's grab life again by the exciting times and yeah. get rid of this guy. Focus Move on, on yourself. Okay. All right? Yes. Okay. Please, please break up with this guy and stick with it. Okay. All right. Good luck. Yeah, so, so sometimes, sometimes, like people, like I, I don't know if this is the right analogy, Steven, since this has been an analogy day. But like, yeah, yeah, you know, it started with the roast beef sandwich. <laughs> yeah, the roast beef was awesome. Uh, it's like a car, man. Listen, I mean, I know it's reliable, but you know, it, there's not a lot of bells and whistles there. Yeah, yeah. it's nothing like getting a new one. Shiny, no, because I the shit. the thing that I was saying earlier, car. I think in some relationships, the reason why some people stay longer than they should is because when I was saying about failure, it's like they know they're not a failure, but then they're thinking, "Am I not good enough?" Like I'm giving my one hundred percent. What is it gonna take for you to give me that one hundred percent? So yeah. sometimes you may think that something's wrong with them, but it also makes you doubt yourself. Like, yeah. is there something wrong with me that this per am I not worth changing for? Yeah, but I don't yeah. think so. Like I don't think all the time because that's for people. No, I'm who saying have for it, some. Yeah, for some, I mean, yeah. There are some. That's why they stay this, longer. This girl is more if I were going to guess where she's at, it's like, okay, I've been around with this guy for so long. I'm used to having him around. There's like a security blanket there. Yeah, and when, he, when we do break that, up, though. yeah, no, obviously, yeah, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a bad idea. But I don't think she feels bad about herself. I think she just knows that guy's a dick. But at least in the end, someone is there for me. Someone yeah. is there to text me at night. That, you know, someone's there to take me out. That's hard when to I get, watch a movie, I have somebody with me. That's hard to get rid of because like, you have that attachment. And it's like, oh, yeah, if, totally. we, if we break up, you know, who's going to be there for this? Who's going to yeah. be? There? But at the same time, even though he is there, it's like the level of what he's giving, what he's giving to her. Is it really worth it? No. It's like the balance isn't there. Like she, like Bianca was saying, like he, she could be giving a hundred percent, and he's giving like sixty or fifty. Yeah. So it's not fair totally. to, it's not fair to her. If that's what it seems like. Then what's it would happening. be just settling, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's settling. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and not really whole like I must be, I must be crap. I must be, no. I think she pretty knows he's a dick. It's just, but what are you gonna do? He's a dick. I still stick with him. Yeah. Um, let's go to Christy. Christy, you're on the show. Line five. Hi, Christy. Hi. Hi. What's up, baby? You are 30 years old in Paranaque. Yes. How can we help you? That's correct. Great. What's up? Um, I asked two questions tonight. Um, sure. How to push a guy to ask the question. And the other one, I, I sent it through SMS. I'm not sure which one you want I, to talk you know, about. Sorry, love. I, I have no idea what you're going to ask. Um, it, it goes to the staff and not me. So ah, okay. um, this um, is all new to us. Yeah. The more important question is how to push a guy to ask the question. The marriage I, proposal yeah. question, you mean? Yes. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So it's always been an issue about finances, that finances aren't that good for now. And on the guy's perspective, it's more of um, how to provide well for his family, for the wife and the children that they will have. But for the girl, it's all about working together on how to reach that finance that you need to build up a home. Sure. sure. So my question now is, in my, my relationship with my boyfriend of five years, I always get the answer of in two years time or actually recently, his mom just came home from um, abroad who, who's worked there for quite some time. And now there's another reason for us to postpone the marriage. So sure. there's always a reason um, coming up. And I don't know if that proposal will even come. You, you know, know uh, I, I like to ask Stephen because he's a, he's a guy here. Um, you, you know, I'm going to guess or assume that the, the, the excuse of I want to be able to provide for my family and all this stuff is a bullshit excuse yeah. for to not get married. You, I, yeah. I think when guys really are into their girlfriend and they've been together for a while and they're thrilled, they don't care how much money they have. Let's get married. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, mean, I agree. I agree. If he has so, the desire and he really wants to get married to you, I think he'll put out the effort to, to like, you know, compensate for what he's lacking, I guess, in terms of providing a future, providing a family, providing a house or whatnot. If he really wants to marry you and he thinks that he's ready, I mean, he'll, he'll even exert himself even more like later on. Exactly. That, and that's what I mean. So I think, you know, the, the reason why guys use that excuse 
And again, I don't know if because it's, they it's don't an excuse or they bad. really feel they it. They actually want to look well, like it's they... A, <laughs> no, it's because it's a great excuse. It is. It's such an effective yeah. excuse. Yeah. And you can't argue it. You can't it. say no to it, yeah. Yeah, you can't go, well, that's bullshit because it's not. It's a legit reason. But I think people use it way more than they mean it. Yeah. And mm-hmm. if it also depends on how much money he has already. And how, mm-hmm. where you are financially. Because as a female, you can combat that. You can go, oh, okay, if the guy says, hey, listen, let's not get married yet because I want to be able to be financially secure and buy a home and take care of the family. You can go, hey, listen, if we have two incomes, it yeah, makes we can do it process together. easier. Right? Mm-hmm. You know, it That's actually correct. knocks it. We, we, we can get there twice as fast. That's, That's how you correct. combat That's that excuse. That's what I'm thinking. Right, so. Sorry, go ahead. It's just hard. It's just hard to keep on waiting. And um, at this age, I'm 30. I don't think I can um, start a new relationship. Of course, I want to end up with him. It's just that when will be that time? I, uh, I don't know. Oh, I don't yeah, know you know, my, my, my point of contention is um, you, were, uh, you were saying several points. It's like one, you're saying that you're trying to get this guy to ask you and you already have a counter counter argument when he gives you that reason (laughs) but one my point is why do you want to force like i want to be with a guy who will stop at nothing to want to marry me you know Mm -hmm. it's almost like you're trying to find a way i wouldn't say corner but sort of like you're it's like you're talking someone into a business deal it's like you're selling them an idea as effectively as you can for them to buy into it why will you want that in a partner not to say there's something wrong with him Mm -hmm. i'm just saying obviously there's something there that it's not his desire to marry you whether it's marriage itself or you (laughs) obviously there's something there you know i don't i don't i don't agree at all listen i'll tell you why i (laughs) think putting him in a corner and giving him an ultimatum is the best thing to do it's the hey, hey, really? listen, and, and well, yeah, for these for the same exact because okay, well, let's use what I said earlier, which is guys sometimes they don't mature yet till they're thirty. Blah, 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 mm, you know, yeah. we said all that shit. This girl's thirty, so she's definitely ready to go, mature and stuff like that. And maybe he's the same age, and he's just needs that push to remind him, hey, listen, it's either hello? now or never for us because I'm not gonna wait around anymore. I don't think and, that you know, works. Hello? I don't know why. I don't. I don't I, think. Yeah, that hold on. Work, Can you hear us? Yes, oh, yes, God, yes. What's her name? Yeah. Christy. Yeah. It might not work, but mm-hmm. there's nothing else there for her to do. I guess, and I think wasting a few more years and into your declining thirties uh-huh. is even is it even a worse idea? True. Well, I mean, if I could ask Chrissy, like, what are you trying to achieve by getting married? Like, what what is this like? Like, what, is it what, because you've been in it for so long? Might like, as well. Yeah, get exactly. Married? Is it like one of those, or is it like is there what? something in your mind? It's like, okay, if I get married, this will happen. Well, actually, in a relationship, um, in the first year, we were always we were already talking about it. Okay. That you're actually the the person that I want to be with. I, I always hear that from him. Okay, he but, was the one saying uh, this. Yeah, but okay. on the third year, when it was our peak, the peak of the relationship, when we were so in love, and everyone kept on asking us how we how we we keep it alive, and we were so different from other um, couples. It's just that um, I was expecting on that third year that he would propose already, but on the fourth year, nothing came, and on the fifth year, I feel like it's not coming. Mm-hmm. I, I, I thought that it would come sooner, but <laughs> as the years pass, I, I don't feel the proposal coming soon anymore. I, I think it will be even further down the road. So I'm wondering what... Yeah. What changed his mind? L- listen, uh, Christy, I don't think anything changes mind. I just don't think he's thinking about it. And it's not, yeah. you, you have a clock and he mm-hmm. has one, but it's not as near. I mean, do, did you think he genuinely loves you? Of course, of course. Okay, see, then he I is. see nothing wrong. Okay, if that's yes. the case. Yeah, especially- now, I don't know if uh, again, Stephen will agree with me and I don't think Bianca mm-hmm. agrees with me either, but I genuinely think if he really loves you and you know it for a fact, there is nothing wrong with giving an ultimatum because it, what it is is it brings a reality to him that you're not going to be in his shadow and just mm. drag along here, that you, in fact, have a life that's equally as important as his. And that's really the key for, for a lot of females is my life and what I decide 
is just as important as yours. And if mm-hmm. you're slow to this and I want this, let me move not, on with my life. <laughs> not, yeah, nothing says that yours is your decision is supposed to be the right decision over mine. Okay, you I, have a legit reason to want to be married at 30 and if he doesn't want to accept that, then you can't tell him, well, then I'm going to move on. Because let's be honest here. Fuck, why is it always about him? You are 30. You have zero children. You, you sound like I can hear it in your voice that you come from a family that, 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 like, that really desires those things. Like having siblings, having family, spending holidays together. All of that textbook shit is something you like. <laughs> and there are a lot of people that like that stuff. And if he's not going to step up to the plate and be the partner that you want that life to become like a reality, then you tell him, hey, listen. I want this. I've always wanted this. My family wants this. This is what I've wanted since I was young. And now it's not happening. Either you're going to do something about it or I'm going to do something about okay, it. Okay, I, I super agree with you, I think it's a legitimate you, thing to say. I, I, I agree with you. But my point earlier, what I was trying to say is more of, I don't want to be with a guy that I need to talk him into wanting to marry me. There's just something wrong with that. There, it's yeah. like, it, it should, right? It should yeah, be that's, like, that's there's not like, something wrong like with it realistically. You know, the, the no, the ultimatum, I agree. As I, I, love. You, you're thinking of it as love, the special romantic stuff. That doesn't happen to a lot of people. No, but I agree it, with you too, Mo. I, I, I do. That's why it's actually a good idea that she does the ultimatum because I would rather she do the ultimatum as opposed to trying to talk her guy into marrying oh, yeah. her. Do you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. That for me... Yeah, but I didn't say talk him into it. it. I said, no, no, hey, no. asshole, she you gotta do saying, this or no, else I'm She was saying earlier, that's her question, right? How do yeah. I get the guy to ask me? Yeah. So for me, if you were going to establish self-worth here, the ultimatum for me is the more effective thing. My second point that I was... Uh, going to say earlier you were saying you know i'm 30 it's a little too late to be dating or starting you no i'm 35 honey i'm just getting started it's yeah, like but you have no 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 bianca that's not you can't that you can't say that's a fallacy because this girl in her outlook in life is completely different from yours her activities are completely different from yours i literally i legitimately agree with this girl that 30 is running late for her lifestyle I'm completely with you on that one. See, Bianca, you, you, I mean, listen, you're your host, you have shows, you do this. There's a lot of stuff there that really kind of adds a lot of pizzazz of things that you want. No, but I think this that's so like old school to kids. think like. It doesn't matter if it's old school. That's what she wants. It's like, why am I reading airplanes it's at a not hotel about when, when I'm on she vacation? Want. I understand what she wants, but I'm, what I'm trying to say is it is very sad that for any woman in this world to feel like that they because they're 30 that there's no more chance for whatever else that they're aspiring for that's, that's a very not true. sad mentality that's, it's, it doesn't matter it's a realistic outlook of life she is on her I know, but I wish that women, including herself, would look at it in a more optimistic way. That it is not the end of the world. I wish boyfriends would take that into consideration when they're in five-year relationships with females in their mid-twenties. That, in fact, this is something that they would want. They have to know that. It's a selfish thing to not step up to the plate for those things. Like, obviously, if the guy didn't think that this was a uh, worthwhile relationship, he would have broken up with her. The fact Mm. that he stays in this relationship it means there is something also in it for him in fulfilling that void of love and relationship and companionship. But there's one thing lacking in this guy is the reality that maybe my girlfriend would like to have a family that she had growing up, that she sees in the movies, that she would want for herself. And that's and that totally is legitimate. I need to, right. And if at 30 she goes and says, oh, well, you know what? My days are numbered. That's fucking true. It is numbered. Uh, sorry, they are numbered. Your days are in decline. The fact that you can now have less children than what you were looking for. No, listen, you probably, say in your life you said, I wanted to have four kids. Well, guess what? You're 30, you're not going to have fucking four kids anymore. I'm sorry. The best you're going to do at this point is likely two, and that might be less than what you wanted out of life. Okay, but and I would like failure. to say this so, as well. In life, nothing always turns out the way we fucking plan it, right? But... 
what's the solution? Change your mind. Like, tra- look, I got pregnant at 22. That was not my grand plan, right? Mm-hmm. But what I'm trying to say is the life that you have, there are no accidents that all came up to the summed up to, to who you are now and all the circumstances that you have. But if you feel, if your mindset is you feel like you're stuck, then you will stay that way if you think that you way. Have but to it doesn't feel that have way. to, but it doesn't yes, have do. to be that way. It that yes, is the does. problem with the world today because <laughs> women What's think the the that world? they have to aspire. Like, it made me sad. I'm going to calm down. It made me sad when you said you know when we started dating in our first year like he kept saying that I want to end up with you blah 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 and then the years went by and I felt the felt like the proposal wasn't there call me idealistic but the way I see it sometimes when we get into certain relationships anything at all in anything in life we always look too much at the end goal that we forget to enjoy the actual like the, the months the weeks yeah. the moments mm-hmm. you just keep looking at he hasn't proposed yet i'm looking for the marriage do you know what i mean that's just what i'm trying to say okay, like Stephen, help let, me let's, out let's, no, here. No, no, I, no here let's take, let's take i like that another. wave right there i think you're focused you're focused too much on this result of marriage you should enjoy what you have yeah, it, of course. yeah but who see she is enjoying it steven can't you listen okay I, i'm gonna go with the can't you see hear it in her voice i tried i think christy <laughs> is enjoying her life i, I, I think am, everything I is yeah. it's fine <laughs> i think her relationship in fact is very good mm-hmm. she's just worried that at 30 it's not getting to that level where it should be by now. That is the issue with her. I think her life is great and she's happy and her boyfriend's fantastic. He just yeah. doesn't have that kickstart shit that he needs to go, oh, okay, my girlfriend, Panaro, that's right, wants to have a family and get married. That's her problem. Then and give the ultimatum. Like with, yeah. Exactly, give the ultimatum. But my yeah. thing is, here's not what's wrong with the world. I need you to be pressured in life, in all aspects of life, because that's how you're gonna get shit done. Listen, Steven, mm-hmm. if you wanna be a successful actor, singer, stuff like that, the, yeah. you will not relax in that no. fucking dream. You work hard, it's you true. feel desperate about it, and you go out and you fucking get it. Exactly. If somebody calls the show and says, hey Mo, listen, I'm 29 years old, and I didn't graduate from college, uh, what do you think? I'll be like, I think you're a fucking loser. And I think you better go back and you better fucking do it as if it was the if it meant your life on it. And then there are gonna be people who are more positive and say, hey, listen, you can always start a new career anytime. I hate that advice because no. it lacks that drive, that desperation, the urgency that you always need to succeed and fulfill your dreams. If you have a list of shit that you wanna do, that list is not gonna be checked off by itself. If you wanna fuck mm-hmm. someone's little sister, you gotta go out and fuck that little sister because it's not gonna come to you. If you have to do things urgently or else someone will swoop in and take that shit away from you. And I'm telling you, if you're if you allow your boyfriend to it live the way he's It just sucks that living, that bucket list is is like it's it's depend like that happiness, that fulfillment depends on somebody no, else's but she's decision still as happy. well. Don't no, get me you're wrong. Just, yeah. yeah, she's still happy. Hey, girl, I'm on your yeah. side. Like I am so <laughs> on your side because I'm a woman here, right? I'm not married, and and everything. So mm-hmm. I'm. I guess what I'm just trying to say is I don't. It it breaks my heart to that you feel that at thirty. That, like Mo said, it is a rest. reality. No, but no, no. I don't. don't but at the wrong, same yeah, time, yeah. I just don't want you to feel like a thirty. That's it. No, yeah. it's okay. Not. How many kids did you want to have? Hey, hey, uh, uh, oh, f- 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 Christy, how many kids did you want to have when you were, when you were thinking about how great your life is going to be when you grow up? How many kids? I'm just thinking about two kids, maybe, or at least one. I don't want a okay. big family, but I just want then, to maybe tell lock your, in tell, that right. so, commitment already. So, Wait, tell your boyfriend, babe, listen, when I want to get married, I'm not married and going to have seven children. I want one, and I want one where I can grow up with her and dress her up, and we can still be pals, and we can still get – and now I don't want to be fucking 75 years old when she's 20. <laughs> you know, I want to be able to enjoy this part, and that part in, it includes – starting a family and stuff like that. I don't want to pressure you, but I want to let you know that this is part of what my dreams were. But and, you know, the problem you know, with giving him an ultimatum is that he would respond to it um, as if he's very hesitant about it. Like, he would always tell me to, you just have to wait for it. You, you, you won't expect it. 
when you won't expect it. I'm sorry, that is surprise. fucking selfish. Then you already have your answer right there. He's stalling. Oh, stalling whether because he's not ready or there's actually a proposal. We'll never know. But for me, that's your that's answer the right there. there. Well, not the really, answer's not right yet. there. No, not yet. It's almost there. I mean, I'll be mm -hmm. I'm on, I'm on, mm -hmm. with you, on the same page with you there, Bianca, but that's not the answer. The answer is after you give him the ultimatum, see what he says. Okay, well yeah. then, I'm not going to wait. I can't wait. Yes, Because my clock I agree. is ticking. So if you don't do this in the next X amount of time, I mean, you can, yeah. you can surprise me when it's going to be done, mm -hmm. but if you're telling me right now to wait year after year and then now your mom's yes. in town or whatever fucking excuse you're giving, I'm sorry, listen, I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to move on. Yeah, make it clear. You always, to yeah, you have to remember you that your happiness, everyone's happiness in life, as much as we sacrifice for the happiness of our loved ones, it will, it should always be on our terms, not on anybody else's terms, but on our terms. Make it on your terms. You've <laughs> I, don't given know him, I don't know if that's give, realistic, but given if you, it definitely is uh, worth. No, you know. meaning you've given him so much already. Now it's payback time. You've <laughs> earned this, right? Then well, do I what Mo like said. I deserve, I of course you do. Proposed. No, mm -hmm. don't just feel like I deserve. You do. Mm -hmm. If it's I not do. him, it's somebody else. It's going to happen, baby. Okay, we and don't go. get me wrong. I mean, at 30, I know I can still date and. You know, yes, meet you people. Can. I'm not that yes, old, but I feel like I want to end up with him, but it's not happening yet. That's why the frustration is there. I guess. Yeah, and you know no, what? Totally, yeah. Ultimately, totally. just pray. Just yeah. pray. Offer up the relationship. <laughs> I'm serious. That's what I always do. Yeah, I always, when, when you're so desperate and you just need that hope, just pray. You got nothing to lose, right? All Offer right. up that relationship. All right, we we gotta get okay. it. We're super over time. Thank you so much, Thanks, guys. Christy. Okay, I, I can't believe care. we spent uh, the most amount of time on one call that had just a very basic question. <laughs> like, you know, aside from the whole, I'm fucking my wife's sister. I mean, it was really, hey, I just need, I, I want my boyfriend to propose to me. No, but you know what? It's a good point because there are so many girls out there who are having the, it's actually a very common problem. Yeah, and they're said, probably so thinking, what the fuck am I supposed to do? So I'm sure this call has helped a lot. Yeah, Steven, you all right, buddy? I'm good. I'm just, I'm little, just sitting back little, listening. Yeah, That's a tough a problem. I mean, second, I, I yeah. just don't like how she's saying, like, you know, I hope we can end up like married. I mean, you shouldn't end up married. It should be something that they both they're both shooting for. And obviously, maybe the guy that's not exactly what he's looking for right now. Maybe not right now, or maybe yeah, not at all. Yeah, you know, sometimes I, I think... they say like the intentions are there and all that, but timing. It's always the timing. Sometimes the yeah. timing is just not right, and it's I, sad. I really do believe just at times. It's not that we can't necessarily say that he doesn't want it. I think at times. I'm sure he does. You, you, uh, you need to remember that the person you're with is equally as important as you, and that's the. I think that really it ultimately boils down to because sometimes when you live your life and you get in a relationship and you're with that person for some time, you keep thinking that they want what you want. But, but that's not true. The, the, your partner wants a completely different. They have a completely different list of goals and dreams. Which is why, guys, always reassess regularly with your take, relationships. You know, Mo and I were fighting about this else's. the other yeah. day. All right. Hey, we got to get out of here. Fucking name, man. We're super late. All right. Whew. Hey, Boston. The Kitchen Musical. Yeah. Oh God, I love that stuff. That's coming out early next year. I know you're involved in other shows, uh, Stephen, but yep. we can probably plug that before we say goodbye tonight. Follow him on Twitter, though. Okay. Listen, at yeah. I am Stephen Silva. Taking a break to wrap it up and say our goodbyes. Don't go away. See you guys in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Minsan may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. 
malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. First, open iTunes. Your next step, hit the iTunes Store button. A search bar should open up as soon as you do that. Type New Media Factory in the search bar and all your shows should open. Pick the show you like, or all the shows you like. And once that opens, hit the subscribe button. And that's it, you're in. All shows will now be automatically downloaded to your device. Friends says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. All right, time to wrap it up. Super overtime tonight, I think. Are we? Are we? Ah, not so bad. But we got to get out of here. I want to thank Stephen Silva for being here. Stephen, again, as always, for charming us with your presence. Oh, you he's the keeper of this one, ladies. Good man. But he yeah. is taken. Hashtag good, good just saying. Hashtag just letting no, you know. No, listen, are you are you open about your girlfriend? I mean, something like, or is this? Uh, oh, something we that we just know. started dating, so you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. All right. Gotcha. What's her name? Okay, or is that a secret? It's a secret. It's, it's kind of on their Twitter. <laughs> like they're so sweet on Twitter. Hello. Oh, at the same time, yeah. But she's really, yeah, yeah she's very pretty. So, yeah. yeah good for you. She's cute. All right. Uh, let's see here. What what show are you on again right now? You uh, you do the All Star stuff on Sunday All Stars and Aachen Butter and Bukas. So, gotcha. And then the, the yeah the Boston Kitchen Musical that's next year. Fantastic. Congratulations yeah. for thank its you, success. Bianca. I see it already. I oh, see thank it. you. It seems like life is good, good for guy. you. Right You're now, a good huh? guy. Girl, I mean, girl, <laughs> girl. <laughs> thanks for being here, buddy. Appreciate it. DJ Mo, thanks. Um, appreciate, always appreciate it. Yeah. Please come back. Yes? I will. I'll hit uh, you up, man. You're not traumatized you by... You should be like oh, Pastor no. Stephen or something. No, no. I always enjoy it. Uh, Excellent. Fantastic. Quick announcement here. I will look for it. Oh, have you, do you have any Globe related inquiries? Have your fellow subscribers help you by logging on to the Globe online community with more than 10,000 members to discuss and interact with? You'll get answers to commonly asked questions quicker and easier. So be part of the fastest growing community. Visit www.community.globe.com.ph today. Excuse me. We will see you. Happy birthday Likely again. tomorrow. Thank happy you. birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. It's no longer your birthday, but yeah, still happy for your birthday. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Thank you. I think we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. I, I'm confident we will, but, but it is a holiday here in the U.S., a big one, one of the bigger ones, uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. So, happy Thanksgiving, uh, Stephen. Happy Thanksgiving. And Bianca as well. Um, right, so we'll work it out. Um, have a great evening, everyone. Thanks for being here again, Steve. Bye. And uh, we'll see you guys Thanks. again. Good night. Bye. 
Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gumata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media Inc. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. <laughs> you can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com.